Alhamdulillah. What do you want to do? Hello. Yes, hello and welcome to the next podcast. You like podcast? We have podcast. We work. Welcome to Comedy Guy. Comedy Guy, Tim and Lou show. Don't misgender yourself, bro. I am Louis. This is Tim. And you fucking listen. Fuck you. No. With special secret celebrity guest. Special secret. Yeah. Yeah. So like not, secret sauce, like yeah. what KFC gives you. You're not even gonna like say my name. I'm just no. gonna be a secret, like a secret <laughs> random, random yeah. hobo off the street. Because they can't see you behind that light. So they're just gonna hear your voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have a bit. We can see. Everyone can yeah. see Tom. But. So we're here. Me and Tim. It's the uh, Tim and Louis show. We wrangled Tim back into the studio and Tom, but sealed is here to yep. join us. Hey, hey. So 9-11, <laughs> was it something Top about it. the Jews? <laughs> <laughs> starting strong, starting strong, Tim. Yeah, that, you're gonna be fighting with that thing because it's shit. It's I've terrible. got the shit Steven yeah, mic. Yeah. Is this the shit Steven mic? No, it's, no, the, it's no. The, the stand that's fucked. Mm. What's the shit Steven mic that you give to Steven? Uh, this this, this right here, like under me is the Steven mic. Okay. Because, because like Steven usually, because yeah, cause this is not a, like a omnidirectional mic. Yeah, you got to talk right into it. Right yeah. into it, but like Steven is fucking all over the place. Yeah. So it just sounds like quieter than the rest of the crew. You get so much shit in this room. It's kind of sad actually, to be honest. Yeah, but it works. Oh. The format is brilliant. Yeah. Like. So here we go. Here I don't know. Go. I mean, like, I, f- I feel like the school nerd. I come in here with top, like, guys, here are the topics we're going to talk about. What's the first about. topic? I'll fucking watch how professional I am. Here we go. Go for it, Tim. First topic is Lewis has been astending, attending Estonian classes. Wow. I, I, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been. I've been going every Monday and Wednesdays for two hours. So wh- what's your level at now? Because you start at what? To A1. A1, A1 yeah. starting absolute basic. So while I do understand bits and pieces, like some bits are easy, some bits are hard. Yeah, I thought I'd go from the beginning because I don't know any grammar. Like yeah. I just listen to you fucks long enough that, you know, stuff makes sense to me, but I'm not sure why things oh, make sense okay. so, so you've done the a1 that's you've no no i'm completing that right that's the course oh, i'm doing okay, right okay. now every mondays and wednesdays multilingual and thank you to casa for paying for the whole thing so that i know i what went to i don't know what that is <laughs> It's, it's, uh, I don't think he even the, understands it in English. The dole office, I guess. Unemployment office. Never yeah. took the dole once in my life. Really? Yeah, never. Never done never, it. Right, never. so the unemployment, I just had to go, and there's a scheme you can read about on the website. You make a consultation with the Toto Casa, and she's basically just like, you've got a job, yes. You want to stay in Estonia and learn Estonian? Yes. Okay, we pay. So that how ridiculous it. is the A1? How Because... I have a hard time taking it seriously, to be honest. Is it like Kaisan Lawa Al type of shit? Like basic, yeah, basic stuff. It is basic stuff, but there's grammar behind it, Tim. That's what, like, you've got that. Like, I was the same, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, Define yeah. Define okay. grammar. <laughs> exactly. Like, pulling it, like, okay, so we've got the fucking uh, the, the verb and it's infinitive. So it's a ma ending of a word. But if it's got free will and I choose to do it, then it's a da ending. Maybe sometimes it's hard, depending on. And you're, you're, you're going to be tested at the end of this. Yeah. And you've got to learn all these like grammar rules, right? To build yeah. proper sentences, not just a few. Like, yes, I know words. Yes, I know. But you are know. you actually learning or are you just like rote learning? Just remembering? I shit? can't rote learn for sure. I've just no? smoked too much weed over the years. I cannot rote Illegal learn. Illegal drugs, Lewis. I know. I don't pass that. Praise man. Allah. So I've got to, I mean, I'm trying, I'm not putting that much work into it right now. I do the homework. I go to the classes. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm getting through the first What's the six. structure of it? Are you in a class with other people or? Yeah, you can zoom in or uh, just be in the class, depending on what you want to do. And um, do yeah, we do like group work as well. Oh, well. In that, like, you have to ask really simple questions of your work of the other people in the classroom. So you're like, you know, do you want to dance tomorrow? And and how many non-whites are in the class with you? That's what I want to know. Oh, we're all whiteies. Really? As much as I can tell, there's no, well, as I guess the opposite of whitey would be a darkie if we're going that direction. It's one of those episodes. He uh, says all the racist <laughs> shit, yeah. by the way. Like I'm yeah. apparently the big racist in the room and he's like, fucking Jews, mate, fucking darkies. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would assume like it's because, you know, all the... Uh, uh, darkies, if we're ref- referring here, are already the like, so-called darkies. Yeah, so <laughs> they're already like in uh, advanced classes. They're Maybe like, they're way better. Maybe. There they're were like, super free ones that were given away. Super free ones that the Estonian Language Institute offered. They went in like fifteen minutes, but. It didn't seem that hard. I mean, I just went down and asked if he, uh, maybe, I don't know what it was, but it was super easy to get 
the Delta yeah. Casa to pay. They it didn't seem like to be a massive problem. Like, oh, you're living here. I don't know if you'd been here for a year and. But you know the way Estonians are. You're about a bolt their language. They nearly pay you to fucking. Oh, bro! Learn the language. It saying that I'm going to Estonian classes is the ultimate get out of jail free. Any anything I have to do. Like I could basically be called up for jewelry duty in Estonia and be like, oh, I'm sorry, I've got to go to my Estonian class. Oh, oh, okay, we, we let you go. <laughs> like a- any excuse, oh, I can't be at that meeting, sorry. It's my Estonian class. So, oh, oh he- people lose their minds. Here's the thing about you though, Lewis, over the years I've learned, you don't particularly <laughs> like speaking Estonian. You'll go out of your way to st- stick to English for the most sure. part. Sure, I just it's a um, because I'm not comfortable with it. Oh, okay, you know, I'm not yeah. comfortable. It's like a crutch. It is absolutely. It's a crutch. Well, so. I, I I came upon the unique situation of there's there's a, a painter trying to basically the building I'm living in is falling apart. It was built in 2018, brand new, but there's cracks forming everywhere, and I'm going to be in the news someday because it's going to collapse or whatever. <laughs> but there's a, a painter who's supposed to come and like fix the cracks or whatever, mm. basically paint over them. Yeah. And go like, no, there is no crack. But she doesn't speak English and she doesn't speak Estonian either. Mm. Oh, full, Rush, full oh, Russian. Yeah. The so, types tend to be Russian. Yeah. <laughs> so the first meeting was ex- <laughs> extremely awkward. It was just extremely awkward. Just like, uh, you, you come in. And she was like, ah, 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 ah. so from then on, She's just been leaving notes on my door, written notes, <laughs> telling me the time she's going to show up. Oh, yeah. How much painting is there to do? How many appointments it's is like needed? One crack. Yeah, but it needs like five appointments. Yeah, but that, yeah, that place is so badly managed that yeah. it's a mess. It's you a mess. get a lot of that. I found a few places I've lived in that, especially when they were built in the 90s, this was not a good time for construction in Estonia. Paper thin <laughs> walls, bad construction. The cheap as shit. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, why it wasn't hmm. like Soviet era, c- c- like it's all thick concrete and. No, um, uh, it was like. Have uh, you ever been to Lasnama? What are you talking about? That shit's place. falling down. Yeah. Like it's yeah. The, the concrete rot. Like, yes, I can put up some concrete, but it's not like that doesn't mean that it's going to outlive the pyramids. But you're describing like some Japanese fucking paper wall shit, you know? They're pretty thin, some of those buildings. I'm just think, referring back to when we lived in an apartment in Kadriog back in the day, maybe 10 years ago, and we had a party. And then, like, I didn't think the music was loud, but the neighbors. And when I think about it, we shared a huge wall and it was pretty fucking thin. So, of course, they called it the cops. It was vibrating like a speaker. Right. And of course, neighbor, yeah. you know, of course, Lewis mouthed off to the cops. Yeah. And that, that's when I mouthed off to the cops. And then, because I mouthed off to the cops, they hauled me down to the station the next day and made me pay a fine, which was. 150 crowns I think or something it was like <laughs> it's just like 15 euros 15 euros I was like sure can I can I prepay some for the future possibly yeah yeah I <laughs> man I have no idea what that's like man going on to a police station oh no, <laughs> no, not yeah. all, not hey all. Caleb good to see you buddy hey, welcome to the show buddy. Caleb Brunick uh, you should have him on the podcast uh, I think something bad happened to him in America really? oh yeah why like, what do you yeah. think happened to Caleb I don't know. I, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't like talking on a turn here. But ever, ever since he came back, he's like, no, dude, I'm not drinking. I'm, I, need to, I need to quit drinking. Mm. He's like, I'm going to have a max three beers. And it doesn't th- occur to you that maybe it was the incident with you and Caleb that has led no. to this? No. Well, here's, here's what I've heard. Apparently, mm. when he went to America, he was testing us all. He was waiting for us to message him so he oh. f- could find out who his real friends were. Oh, um, yeah, that, that bit. Yeah. Which is... A very womanly thing to do. Does he know what comedians are? Comedians no. are the most self-centered <laughs> fucks Does he know on what? the face of the planet. Like, why yeah. would I know? Yeah. So Does apparently he, he, he got mad. Estonians are. He got mad that he no one, got talked, mad to no one talked to him. But I yeah. think something happened. I think he like, he did Molly and he lost his head or he, he did ketamine and just like the Coney 2012 guy was in the streets pounding the concrete. <laughs> oh. <Like, "Woo!" laughs> and he came back and said, okay, I can't do that. I can't do that. I that shit in the room. Have him on and find out. Dig deep. Maybe. Dig okay. deep. Yeah. But then, I, but then yeah. I got to talk to Caleb for two hours. So. Dude, it's fucking <laughs> tough. It's tough. <laughs> so anyway, you're learning. You're learning Estonian. Uh, learning Estonian. What, yeah. What's the end goal? Is the end goal to make great benefit of nation of Estonia, or is it just so was, you can stay here? I was pretty much straight up in class. I want to get B one because B one, then I'm eligible for permanent residency and my life becomes easier. Does it go A one and then B one, or is there A two, A three? A two. There's A one, A two. And then B1. So I've got three years until my current visa is up. 
it seems reasonable that even a stupid fuck like me could get to be one in that time. Yeah. So I've got to construct some sentences. I may actually have to talk to somebody on the street. Oh my God. At the store, actually have to use Estonian. Get a job in radio, make a movie about mm. it. <laughs> oh my God. Pew, 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 pew. It Shots oh. fired. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've all seen that movie. My right? nuts are no. still, I haven't seen you it. You haven't seen it? I, no. Have you seen it? I've seen it, yeah. Uh, on how TV? bad is it? Because, mm, no, wait, wait. No. In which place did you see it? Like, uh, I don't remember. You but paid like, money to like go TV see it. or the movie? Like some, somebody had that like Elisa fucking thing. Oh, okay, like, yeah. oh, right. thing. So it's like, oh, I, I know that guy. By here. the way, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're ragging on Stuart's movie here, which none of us have made a movie. So no, no. fuck us. But anyway, the we're Chuck gonna, Band. Show, we'll do it anyway. It's the Chuck Band right, show. Right, right, and right. Uh, I did think about renting out a, either Apollo or a, what's it called, Coca Cola yeah. Plaza. Just get the IMAX screen and Coca Cola. <laughs> for <the laughs> Just for ten match. comedians to sit there and do the fucking. Bro, that's the one. That's the one I I overruled because yeah. I was like, oh, that's right. Yeah, because yeah. I'm like, that's that's straight up bullying. I mean, maybe it's my conscience as well, but it's straight up bullying. Which is it bullying if we're all adults? <laughs> <laughs> we might be children up here, but we're men here, isn't that right? <laughs> as the Chinese so, lady found out in this. So what about like, is, you know, Tim? What about you? Now now that I am learning Estonian. I'm fluent. I have I the pretend. moral high ground over you, Tim. I, oh, maraginev. See, I will always have yeah. the high ground over you because my, I actually <laughs> care about the pronunciation. I might only be able to say uh, internetis telitud cax fantasia, Palon. I do. I just can't do it. Oh, Mr. Fucking says one sentence that he's... Well, because pronunciation is like 40% of the work, really. 40% of the you work. You can fake it with good pronunciation. You can I fake it. I keep fucking myself over because when I go into like a shop, like I went into this coffee shop today and I said, Tervist. So he was like, oh, Estonian. And then I had to go, oh, oh sorry. Um, do, you, do you have a coffee grinder? Oh my God, <laughs> one word. This guy thinks he says one word and he's fooled the shopkeeper into thinking... That he's actually Estonian and that he can speak. Well, I mean, they take they... one. They take one look at me and they go, "He's no, they <laughs> fuck it, no." <laughs> yeah. There is this one black gentleman who delivers for Volt, who does say Tervist like in the perfect oh, pronunciation. That's good, and uh, he probably knows more Estonian than me. God damn. Yeah, as I said, all the uh, so-called uh, so-called are in, uh, are in uh, advanced classes. Yeah, are the head of us. Right, they're working. They're going to be teaching him B one. That's fine. Cool, cool. Yeah. I'll yeah. 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 say something like, "Oh, does the B stand for banana?" <laughs> Jesus. Hey, yeah, but just you know, speaking the truth. You know? We're in church. We are in mosque now, bro. Yes. Alhamdulillah, we are in mosque. So <laughs> whatever you want here in these four walls. That so we are, are, you, are, are, you, are you enjoying it, though, or is, is it just kind of like a, a oh, just get through it? That's all right. I mean, it's fine. It's good to you know, good to practice. Good to know. Yeah. I mean, I guess I don't have any attention span, so it's hard to sit down and focus on. There's so m many things I want to do more than that it's not that i don't want to do that but there's plenty of things to do so yeah you're gonna do homework you're gonna sit down on a sunday afternoon and do your homework and study and write you out see that's the fucked up stuff. thing about me because i have so much free time i got nothing but free time so i have no excuses to not yeah. learn estonian to not fucking learn to paint to you know but i'm just go to sleep man just go to sleep wake <laughs> like up you, bolt, you drink, really sleep. you really do enjoy doing nothing Mm. You, 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 you enjoy wonderful. the act of it's, doing It's a reaction to school, though, because everyone hates school. Yeah. And when I left school, I started my business. And then from then on, I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. You know, it's like when, it, when your mom takes you to the shop and you're like, can I have that? And she's like, no. So when you get older, you just have it. Just have everything. You, know? you can have the things. Not that I would understand thing. that, you know, collecting video games I mean, that I couldn't have well, when I've I was I've got no self-control, but sure, who fucking needs self-control? No, it's know? fine. It's it's, uh, it's 3 p.m. on a Monday and I'm having an ice cream cake. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Good one. That's, that's, the well, mm. that's the mentality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, it. Just have it. Doing nothing. So, I mean, let's turn it back around. Could you do it, Tim? I mean, learn a with this. I mean, you've got to do some well, homework, right? I did you like... you got to write lines. you got to look at a textbook. But I did prepay a certain female Estonian comedian for 13 <laughs> lessons. <laughs> How and many? After, after lesson three, I was like, oh, I just can't. <laughs> Just can't was she it. like nah, was it well, I was or? at the time like my sleep schedule was fucked so I couldn't focus on anything oh and then just the thought of going back to school was just nah ah oh, so Tim's got school issues yeah. so she can keep the money I don't care about, about being <laughs> is it when you were in school you didn't have the position you had today and like no no know, no like in, in school I, I found ways to get off of doing work mm -hmm. I, I formed a students council 
with the with, with the thought of like I I told the principal like, like we need a students council we need a students union because the students voice need to be heard I just wanted to not be in class <laughs> so me and my friend uh, Adam we formed a students council just to get off class and we we robbed the school blind as well we had a petty cash box <laughs> that the school gave us we just take money and go fucking go eating food in, in in the town park. It's also There's funny because, no like, topic. do the students' voices need to be heard? Yeah. No, like not in my school. My school was fucking you're shit. Fi- you're 15. Like, what? What insight do you have? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So no, um, I, 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 I could do it if I wanted to, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but it's the wanting to part. You mm. know? I mean, is it pushing me? Is it, I mean, I think the visa thing is pushing me because then I realize I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate myself in three years if I wasted three. Well, you years. hate yourself? No. True. I hate myself more. I mean, there are levels. It's not just on or off. Yeah. In three so, years, so I'm get gonna, the B one, and you go. Do you know what? I'm not too. I'm not so bad. <laughs> I hate myself just a little bit less today. <laughs> Great. Yeah. That I thought if I hadn't started now, if I hadn't done it, hadn't tried it, all this, all this hoo ha ha about CEOs and someone else taking over and me having more time. Well, I do actually something for it. I well, got to just get a yacht and. Right, happen. what? Yeah. Some sort of paper yacht with all that comedy Estonia fortune? I don't know if you have noticed for the last two Just years we haven't had any money. bury yourself in debt like everyone else in this country. <laughs> I saw a guy today wearing a, a Tusisuya t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he dear. stepped out of a, a Tesla Model, Model S. <laughs> Damn, there should be something like, that we, <laughs> we can charge him double if he's got a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a Tesla t-shirt cost 60 euros? Okay. Why, yeah. are, why are Estonians so obsessed with debt? Just being in debt. They love being in debt. You know? Like what? What kind of debt do you mean? Like you all mean, these like, brand new payday, fucking cars pay- you see dri- driven around. No one's buying those cars with cash. It's all fucking debt. It's all loans. It's all bank shit. You know. It's just renting. It's just or it's just posturing. You know. But Tim, you weren't. And I don't, again, I'm not trying to big dick foreign here, but you weren't around in 2010 with the before that. Like there was some bubble in 2010, right? The financial crisis thing there. Yeah. Because yeah. before 2010, my observation was that there was way too many high-end cars in Tallinn. Like I was first time visiting Tallinn, like, holy shit, why is there Brabus, Mercedes? Why is there top, like yeah. uh, the ultra spec BMW? Because it was all Swedbank just fucking handing out loans like like this. And then whatever that financial crisis happened in 2010, the whole bubble burst. And that was an awesome time to buy a car in Tallinn. Jesus, in these piece of shit, Car parks, like it's just a, par- a a bit of dirt in the back of last number. The guys put a fence around it, around it, and it's a, apparently it's a used car yard. <laughs> and there was amazing deals to be had at that time when that bubble burst. And then now, okay, fine, the bubble burst, and now we've got the rise of the middle class in Estonia. Everyone's working for Bolt and Skype and all the companies, and you know, making more and more money. But it's sort of creeping up again. I agree, it's creeping up that now there's more fancy like for a while it was fine people were getting reasonable jobs and then buying reasonable middle class cars maybe a bmw but still you know not fucking specked out top of the line bmw but yep. i agree with your observation recently i it's- mean look at the skyline of talent the amount of tower cranes that are there all these cheap chinese fucking apartment complexes where one I like studio you, apartment goes for 200 grand how did you turn this into a chinese thing sorry you fucking racist. because of australia actually because i have a friend in australia who's uh tr- trying to buy an apartment in melbourne at the moment mm. and uh he's just like yeah it's just all cheaply made shit that goes for like 1.4 million oh fucking the fucking gooks buy it mate all those gooks come over here and buy it up. is that there, yeah, there he goes again yeah, yeah, wow well, yeah. there he goes again like fucking clockwork you can set your watch to it <laughs> that was an example of how some Australian people might talk. You gotta be careful, no, Lewis. It's a different world outside these walls. Mm. There's all kinds of people coming in now. You know, you all kinds be, of people. What do you mean by that, Tim? You have to specify. Uh, the so-called darkies, the so-called gooks. His words, not mine. <laughs> They're flooding in. That's why I was saying to my friend, uh, that same Australian friend, that or no, I was saying to James actually, because I. <laughs> I have to. This is. A, I'm gonna try and make this not a long story, but you know what black pudding is, right? Yeah, very cake. Very cake. But I came across this thing called brown pudding in Ireland, mm. and I, it's like it has it has the EU protected uh, designation shit. Oh, like champagne. Yeah, but there's no information about it. So I was doing my research, and I just came across this Facebook page for a butcher in Falkirk. Where they were <laughs> a butcher, in a butcher in Falkirk in Scotland, where they were advertising a deal, which was either black pudding or haggis, 
uh, like a big ball of haggis with a giant like piece of bacon wrapped around mm. and it's dipped in like parmesan breadcrumbs for one pound 25 each that seems like a good deal uh, uh, insanely good deal because mm. like, me and james are always complaining about the food here like mm. you can't just you can't just go get a deep fried mars bar what the fuck oh what a backwater, <laughs> what a backwater this is but so now decadent. oh lo and behold the quality of food is improving why is, is that immigration buy all for a fuck ekra. M- m- more gooks yeah. calling him. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, to back up a moment there, brown pudding. What is brown is, pudding? Okay, what is brown pudding? Let's go. So there. I did my research. It's this company called uh, fucking Butchering Sheehan's Falcon. Butchers or some shit in a tiny little village in West Cork. And what they do is they soak, you know, in very cactus, like little bits there's oats, there's and, jokes, there's oats right? and there's fat as bits. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. There's, a, there's <laughs> stand-up comedy bits yeah. in Black I've never, I've, I've never done that much LSD. You should be a comedian, man. You're fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, fucking. But uh, no, it's it, they just soak the bits, the comedy bits in, in blood before they, they boil it. So that's it. It's just slightly less black pudding, probably. And um, <laughs> you said that brown pudding is protected under the, the EU yeah, thing. There's only one of them. It's called um, Timo League Brown pudding, Timo League is the name of the town that it's made in. Mm. And the EU, whatever, it's P-E-G-I or something, protected designation. So you've got to come from that town to, is that like champagne? You've got to come yeah. from that town or to be able cheese to make, or, Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You've got to come from that region to call yeah. it brown. I mean, what a sh- boring. Sh- like, <laughs> you have, you, <laughs> champagne, right, sure. Parmesan, sure. Brown Brown pudding. fucking pudding can you know like it doesn't seem like such a regional thing you could at least give it some fancy fucking name before you, you use the french name boudin noir boudin noir fine boudin that noir. sounds fuck everything in french sounds great but it seems a bit you know off to just you gotta come from that region to call it brown pudding right right right, right, right. that's so but odd. here's the thing though on our glorious trip to visit our <laughs> african-american comedian friend in london yeah I, I might go on a black pudding odyssey across the UK and Ireland. Oh, an odyssey of black yeah, pudding. Because yeah. I'm obsessed. I'm fucking obsessed with black pudding. Really? Absolutely. Why? I'm just. I don't know. It's the greatest food on the face of the earth. Really? Yeah. Really? So like when you get like a lot of fat. I mean. Fuck so me. so when you get a full English breakfast, like the black pudding is the, like mm. the treat. If I get a full English or full Irish breakfast and there's no black pudding on the oh, plate, dang. the table's being flipped. <laughs> being flipped <laughs> and i can do a, i can blind taste test i'm fucking obsessed with this shit like i can tell you you put 10 different puddings in front of me i'll tell you which part of ireland they came from that's how fucking crazy I am. that's so <laughs> that's just that's like an odd like food item that like be so obsessed about it's like well you haven't had good black pudding though you've only had estonian <laughs> no offense but very worst and very cack is what's cack shite <laughs> <laughs> So I, when I come, uh, when we're in London, I'll show you some. i show you a few things, kid. <laughs> so, oh, look, yeah, I sure, I sure don't. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. we're going to be in London. This yeah. is the thing we're all planning. So uh, what, the 9th yep. to the 16th. Mm-hmm. So uh, what, you guys are going to see Chappelle. Yep. As I understood on the yep. 12th, I think the it is. 12th, yeah, yeah. And then on the 16th, we're having Adi Mati show in uh, London. Hopefully two shows which this guy, Tombat's going to be one of the openers in London, Woo. international comedian. Yeah. yeah, He's getting into it. And then, well, then the next thing is me and Ari are going on the Brussels. We're going to do a gig in Brussels, but we're going to be in London. It's yeah. going to be, you know. It's going to... There we go. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Deep down, something's going to happen. I have a feeling that something's <laughs> going to happen that Chappelle's going to cancel or... Hookers or what? Like blow? No, do you mean I like just that? think uh, the cases are going to start going up because the weather's oh, getting cold and then they'll okay. go, oh, we got to lock down again. And then, okay. right, you right. know, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, oh, we hope for the best anyway. So yeah. we're going to be in London. Um, what are you guys going to do for a week? I mean, besides try and get spots uh, or something. I'm going wow. to eat so <laughs> much food. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to eat. I'm gonna, I, I've been, I've been lo- I locked in this country. Well, that's a lie. I've been fucking like traveling back to Ireland. Then, but okay. Yeah, I'm going to hit all my, f- my, the, my, my favorite kebab spots. My favorite pizza spots, my favorite food. If you're finally going to get a spots. kebab with like lamb. Actual lamb, yeah. yeah Not just beef or chicken. Because there's, the cause there's no like lamb kebab here no, for some reason. No. I don't know why. You're no right, lambs. I don't know. There's no lamb. Well, this is what we were getting into in a previous episode. What's the, what's the economics and the logistics of the big spinning stick of meat? Yeah. How does it go? If you don't get through the meat in a day, is that okay like how does that work yeah because there's a place and i don't want to put them on blast here but it's called <laughs> damak donor kebab yeah okay no, just I, down I, here in telescopy right yeah, uh, no wait where's damak i know damak it's but. A, near the radisson it's blue hotel on kawamaya street 
There's also one like near the U, like the U, oh U. used to be talk kebab down there on that street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So they give you lots of meat. Mm. Yeah. And they'll give you lots of meat at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. yeah. But it'll be cold and it's kind of like a bit, a bit sad. Yeah. So I think like they probably when they're coming down to the end of their stack, they'll just shave it all off and mm. put it in the fridge and then just fuck it onto a frying pan and reheat it. So, so when they're coming to the end of a stack, but or when they're coming to the end of a night, maybe they'll just yeah. shave it all down and then just fuck it in a fridge. Oh, OK. So <laughs> we need I, I mean, we need a kebab, kebab expert on this podcast, Tim. You have one <laughs> I'm sitting right in front of you. I mean, on the other side of the equation. Like well, someone who the, actually works for a living, I mean, okay. right? From the creation <laughs> of somebody the who actually kebab. shaves the kebab. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. kebab. Well, I could tell. I could tell you about kebab. You could give me a question about kebab. I'll answer a question about kebab. No I problem. just asked you a fucking question about kebab. Ask what happens? Again, I forgot. What <laughs> happens if you've got the spinning stick of meat yeah. and it is, let's say, halfway done by the end of the night? What happens? Well, just what I said. They probably shave it all down and fuck it in the fridge. You can't that just, seems you can't like just a leave a fucking stack of meat out. Right, yeah, exactly. It'll go weird. But how many yeah. frigging kebabs are these Talon kebab places actually serving day in, day out? Or are there smaller sticks of meat? Can you get a smaller one? Is that the idea? Like you can actually you can I, get in, like a, in promo, you can get like a small, medium, or, or large. Oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe there's a small one. Okay, it's a Sunday. I'm not yeah. going to get that many people. So it's actually, I'll yesterday get the I went one. to Arsenal Keskus and there's a kebabi fabric in there. Mm, there is. And th it was three o'clock in the afternoon and they were putting on a fresh, big, thick Damn. thing. And I did think like, oh, fuck, what, what are they going to do? Just call me, lads, call me. Oh, so is there more? <laughs> oh, okay, that makes a good point. Do we not understand the shave rate of the kebab? We're here thinking that it's like that one I showed you in Istanbul where it's like three meters across yeah, or something. Yeah. But apparently you can get through a thingy in- Yeah, but it's weird in this country because kebabs are like a late night fucking after the pub. It's not yeah. really But everything closes here at 10. Like a drunk, people. Yeah, oh yeah, all yeah. the food places, like there's no, I have to go to like all Olarex and get a hot dog. That's a that was sad, one night I, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> and my only option was to order fucking Circle K. But you woke up at 4 a.m. and decided that yeah. you needed food yeah, yeah. and nothing that was already in your apartment. Because Tambat and I know there's a decent amount of food in your apartment at any there given. There is artisan yeah. treats from around the world exactly. in both of my fridges. From both, from, <laughs> from both fridges, nothing tickled your fancy enough that you felt like you had to order like, While we're food. sitting here doing this podcast, yeah. all I'm thinking about is the insane Italian uh, sandwich I'm going to be make, making this evening. That's all. I just you're going to be making a sandwich. Yeah, 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 I bought a big massive baguette fresh out of the oven from mm. Stockman today. I got some prosciutto cotto, fucking shaved garlic, fucking olive oil. Ah, just like a mama used to make. <laughs> <laughs> I understood half of those words <laughs> when you said prosciutto. You lost me. <laughs> Ham. Ham. Oh, sink. <laughs> oh, th th thank you. Oh, look, Mr. B1 over here. That's good. Wait, keep going. I, I'm going to get another beer. I'm a, I'm, I'm a countryside boy, you know. You're a countryside boy, sorry. That's all I heard. Uh, yes. I mean, I'm a country... Could you throw me out one as well, Lewis, from oh, the... Uh, let's get some more beers going. Could, could you throw me out one of the... Because there's cold ones on the shelf. Oh, on the sh oh okay. And I demand the coldest of waters <laughs> from the Merovingian. Another beer? Uh, yeah. Oh. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. This motherfucker over here drinking I can everything. Have, I can have a warm one. Fuck this you. Guy, this guy, this guy, this Tamba guy drinking I, everything I have. And I was supposed to be like the super secret special guest. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck you. You get the warm beer. Fucking never oh. trust an Australian. Absolutely. <laughs> so the Jews. What was, what was your... What's, the, what's topic number two? Okay, yeah. topic number two. What did That's I have a blast through Let's these. Let's steer the ship mm. a little bit here. Okay, oh. Oh, all right. This is an interesting one. Um... It's, I, I've just written down trans, translating COVID posters. So uh, Rayleigh, my girlfriend, because I have one of those, um, she does translating work in the evenings, right? And it's like a market and you can go on and you can bid and you can be like, hey, I'm a translator. And like they a have freelance? Jobs. Like a freelance thing, okay. right? But, and so to bid, and to bid on the job, you need to see something about the job. So you get to see all sorts of interesting shit. People put up their, whatever they're trying to put up. And translate my erotic novel. <laughs> <laughs> translate my CV, translate all kinds of weird shit. And one of them is people are wanting to translate like crazy COVID posters, like anti-vax and we've got the, we found all the answers and it's, you know, like a PDF of, you know, we found all the answers. The It gives you the autism, it gives you the herpes, it gives you everything. Is this from English to Estonian? Yeah, or? from English into Estonian. Okay. That people are, and, and so 
people, what I, I find interesting about this, there's someone out there who is so anti-vax, like that they will pay to get it translated into Estonian. And not only that- So simple, people can understand. Yeah, yeah. They feel this article, this document has affected them so much that they need it translated, that they need to tell the world, but they understand they're not clever enough to translate it themselves. And so they need to pay somebody else to so translate So these are non-Estonians? No, Estonian people. Yeah. No, that's the- Why yeah, don't that, they translate it themselves? That's the interesting thing. It's Estonian people paying to get something translated into Estonian. Tom, but we're gonna need your input here. Uh, Makes no sense to me. I'm not, I will, I'm, I'm not an e expert here. <laughs> But I would think that people who are anti-vax are not that, uh, um, I guess, educated enough to parse the scientific. Yeah, but it's just a translation though. It's and it's not a scientific document. It's just like a- Random guys rambling. More like a brochure of like, hey, we found the facts and there's like five bullet points or something. That makes me think that there's some robot doing this. There's some fucking, mm. It just makes no sense that they care enough. Like they care. But they're Estonian. They just do it themselves. Right. They care. Right. Exactly. But the, is she just translating the text, or does she have to like Photoshop the the brochure? No, just the just the text. And in 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 fairness to my girlfriend, she doesn't accept those jobs. Oh, well, no. but you know it's a free well, market. Very no doubt somebody very else yeah. does. And is there lots of these like COVID? A few, not a few. overwhelmingly, but there's a few that people want this information translated into. Have Australia. you heard of Ivermectin, Lewis? <laughs> 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 Welcome back to the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> uh, but like, there yeah. are like people in Estonia who like don't understand like a word of English. There's a sizable amount. So of how people. would they know? Oh, maybe that's it then. Maybe they want to translate it for their own benefits. So yeah. They can, they so can they can read spread the it around and understand it. I reckon them. probably not. I, really, for your own benefit, I think probably they. <clears throat> what I think is they're already convinced. They're already on the bandwagon, and they want to convince more people in Estonia. But they've understood that they are not expert translators or mm -hmm. something. So yeah. they feel so passionate. They're obviously they're getting this fucking thing translated. They're obviously so passionate about it that they feel like they want to pay to get this this well leaflet information propaganda. Call it what you want properly translated so they can tell their fellow Estonian people, you know, about the problem. Spread the message. Right, right. Alhamdulillah, that makes no sense, bro. <laughs> Just go to mosque. <laughs> I love how- Talon has a mosque now, you know. Really, where? Yeah, out by uh, the air fucking airport. Really? <laughs> right <laughs> next to the airport. <laughs> it's called the Estonian, uh, Estonian Islamic Culture Center. Oh, and great. you can go pray, bro. That's Come it's a proper mosque. Like it looks like a mosque and shit. No, nah, it looks what? like a commie block. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's a mosque on the end. It looks like a shit building. Oh, is anything yeah. a mosque if you call it a mosque? Oh, this this place can be a mosque. Oh, Just, sure, whatever. You know, <laughs> carpets on the floor and away you go, boy. Sure. Yeah. So we've got does Tim, it, but, uh, Asmadi, Tim, 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 the great leader. So, so, but doesn't have to like be blessed by an imam or something like that. Mm. There's there's an uh, Estonian imam there. Mm. Really? Yeah. Like Estonian lad, mm -hmm. full on, just yeah. wearing yeah. robes. Well, he's probably fucking <laughs> praying. He's probably Mecca. Rush, probably from Chechnya or something. What, like that. Do, what do imams do? Wear robes. That's all we've got. I don't know. Like they, I don't know. <laughs> just they, they know always know the direction of Mecca. I guess I don't know. <laughs> That's a good thing to know, though. Yeah, I've you know, yeah. you just have this internal like an in, inner compass. Inner compass. Mm. Yeah. You just know Mecca's like over there. <laughs> I don't know where North is, but Mecca is there. My me I'm looking. I'm looking at my Mecca right now. Oh. There must be a compass. So if you've got a compass, then you know where North is. They have right? an app. They have a fucking app. app. Right? <laughs> <laughs> is that way, man. It's just using the compass, then, right? Yeah. You have a, yeah. But I want a non-app. I want a compass that tells me where Mecca is, that it knows where North is, so therefore it knows where Mecca is. How would you, you do know? that, though? I don't know. Have an imam. Like every imam should know where Mecca is at all times. I think yeah. that should be a rule. What's the Estonian for imam? Imam. <laughs> <laughs> Just with an two, extra with two A's. A's. With two A's. Really yeah. Is it? Yeah. 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 Fuck me, man. Yeah. I'm gonna get Lewis cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. This podcast. Yeah. This I'm, is, I'm, I'm gonna be the one. Of all the things in Estonia. In Estonia, the country where two, I want to say two to three years ago, Orki Nol was in trouble with everybody because he was saying stuff about the gay people, right? And he had problems with the gay people right. and all this shit. And everyone was like, the lefties were all like, oh, fuck, Orki okay, Nol. Fast forward to the present day. Orki Nol is a, a fucking ambassador for Sportland. And he's like, you can see him next to Henrik Sid Sildaru or whatever the fuck his name is, promoting Sportland. I have no idea who any of these people are. 
<laughs> well, I mean, I barely know who you are. Like, you don't me. need. You can. <laughs> this is what always got me. That I, I know a lot of our comedians are concerned that if we do something or say something, there's going to be a rise up. We're going to get cancelled. Like, it's Estonia, bro. Yeah, no one Just cares. go to ground for like two months. Just go to Moscow, yeah. and you'll be fine Moscow. after that. You come back. It's good. I mean, like, there's always going to be people who are going to be like, you know, okay, Erkinol hates gay people, but man, could he throw a discus? <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I was going to be. Oh, he was a discus thrower, was he? Okay. No, he was like actually like a. What is, what is it like? There's like eight or 11. Uh, like, you do everything basically. Mm. Like, you run, you fucking throw a discus, javelin, you fucking the jump with the pole, pole vaulting and all that shit. What sport did you play in school? Well, I was. Uh, when I was. Uh, I was a basketball player, but then I did like, just like, I, I, I did a bit of everything at the end. But you know, the injuries got me. Oh, same, same here, could have been a great career. Yeah. Except for the injuries. I could have been a, a professional rugby player, but I came here instead. <laughs> <laughs> Where I could probably be a professional rugby player because, yeah. like, I, I remember I was drinking in um, the a Scottish pub, Highlander in the old town. Mm-hmm. And uh, one yes, half. There's a Scottish pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they I, I, yeah, you didn't know. know. I didn't know. You didn't know about this? I didn't know. Huh. I know. Actually, the, I, I come to think of it, I haven't drank in the old town in fucking years. It's been a long time. Only, we have only in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Oh. But can you that, even get into bars right now, Tim? Yeah, yeah I can, yeah, yeah. Oh. You I don't have the certificate, but I'm, I'm vaccinated. <laughs> get into bars. That was the thing, you though. You don't have a certificate that you're vaccinated. I have to Here's how fucked The system is in Ireland You uh-huh. have to connect To the portal With an Irish IP mm-hmm. To get the digital cert uh. And NordVPN doesn't, doesn't work It knows you're using The VPN And oh. it says Please turn off your VPN To sign in So I have to physically Go home mm. And get the cert And it broke my fucking heart Because I woke up Like last Sunday morning Hung over And I was like Just my mind was just I am going to compressor I am getting a pancake today mm-hmm. I don't give a shit I don't care what it takes. I'm getting a pancake. I go there. They turn me away because I didn't have the oh. cert. Really? And I had to watch all the... I was, do you know those like the big windows? Yeah, you walk you'll I was watch. just like hand on the window. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. You couldn't do a test? <laughs> huh? You couldn't do it like a test? For a pancake? Yeah. Quick test. No. She said no, no. Mm. Yes. no the I guess it's up to them, yeah. This is a serious pancake test. place. Yeah. I did do a test <laughs> to go to the Heldeke, uh story talent show. Yeah. And... Um, Barely fucking, barely touched my mouth. I was like, "Yeah, man, negative." Then <laughs> could well have fucking had COVID and spread it to everyone. Because nobody really seems to give a shit, to be honest. You know, yeah, except I mean, for Comedy Story, they're doing a f- fantastic oh, we, job above board. Wonderful. Yeah, everything's good. Tired of us, Matt. Do not come nah, to any of our shows. Don't. don't. Mm, no. I mean, we do like there are strict rules. Like like Uxkrik is like very strict, but they're strict. In the in and of themselves, like they, right, yeah, yeah. it's down to every menu how because ultimately it's not us, it's the venue who is ultimately yeah. responding. I meant yeah. When, when people are asking me for ID, so I'm like more you know older than eighteen. That's you know. Then again, there are certain bars around town that don't. I could just walk in and drink because uh, you know that's that's it. That's you asked me once, Lucy. Say, Tim, how do you remember to be? nice and give these people all these things that's mm. it pays off in the end because oh. now i can just go into that bar over there which i won't name okay Don't get yeah, in trouble, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they'll just let me in and no good? no checks or nothing so okay that makes sense that guy pays unvaccinated forward. nah, nah <laughs> never. Mm. but even the i i heard even the 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 gym that i go to again no one will put anyone on blast uh i always i just go there right then i was like oh they never asked my certificate I'd never really thought about it. and then i understood i got told that uh yeah they they specifically don't check vax and apparently Toto met called up the gym and said yo what about what's happening and they said you come down here and you arrest us no and, one's and getting no well no one's getting arrested yeah. right that's the thing if you make your grandstand i mean i guess they're gonna fine you i guess but yeah. i mean i hear i see one news article oh the police went to a few restaurants we had a look at a couple of restaurants it's okay and that's it <laughs> like they're not pushing back significantly well because the big anyway. story at the moment in America just to bring it back to comedy is that both Tim Dillon and Jim Brewer are, are refusing to uh, comply with the the vaccine mandate or not the vaccine really? mandate it's the, uh, the testing shit why is why because they're, they're, they're don't, they don't believe in the vaccine or whatever but uh, really so, yeah, yeah, Tim, so, Tim so Dillon both, doesn't believe no I don't know I, no. I don't really know but I don't listen to Tim Dillon but like they're both specifically avoiding venues that have like mandatory COVID testing things no. okay and everyone's like, oh, fucking 
boycott them, you know? I guess it's up to you, but th- those guys already have their fan bases yeah. that mm-hmm. don't give a shit about that anyway. I mean, Tim Dillon's all about not giving a shit. Yeah. Who's who's going to see Jim Brewer, though? <laughs> what a terrible comedian <laughs> no offense Jim but come on the Metallica shtick was shit 20 years ago you know <laughs> speaking of comedians Norm Macdonald died God rest oh, yeah, his soul you guys want to talk about it you uh, want to talk about the death you got to deal with it you need your oh, grief man, I need some time your well grief. I mean this guy got pretty upset over Sean Locke's death yeah, yeah, but really? I was incredibly drunk though I, I had like a Spartan and like four beers <laughs> just Blubbering in Moku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and outside, outside the Moku because they couldn't get in. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. I do have a, I have a funny Norm Macdonald story, kind of. Kind, uh, kind of. Yeah, he uh, Tom Green did um, this show in the, in his house called Tom Green's House Tonight, mm-hmm. and it, it, back in two thousand and six, Norm Macdonald would come on every like fourth or fifth episode, and I had no idea who Norm Macdonald was, mm-hmm. like. He, he was just this weird guy Just this strange man Who Tom had on his couch But I remember I used to stay up Late every night To watch it live Back in 2006 2007 And uh, I would uh, <laughs> This is when we still had Landlines in the house So I would stay on On hold mm-hmm. Hoping for a chance to Not Norm Macdonald But to, to be able to a- Talk to Tom Green But because it was landline Because I'm calling from Ireland To America I'd have to like Look at the time And see like If I, if I go over an hour Like it's going to cost A hundred fucking <laughs> Pound at the time <laughs> before the euro, Irish pound, and uh, so Irish I had to like pound. I had to like ride the phone mm. for my chance to talk to Tom Green, and the one time I got through, Tom Green's guest was just a nobody skateboarder. Yeah. And I was just like, hey, what do you think of Jackass, man? Pretty cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> but are those tapes out there of Tim calling in? I, I emailed. Tom Green I mean, he's not going to respond to me. I emailed Tom Green and I said, could you just release all the old episodes because yeah. he only has select clips on YouTube. But there's a lot of incriminating shit on those old episodes. Maybe, yeah. Like I remember Tom Green talking about that. Like he had like he had some super internet installed in his mm-hmm. house that you couldn't yeah. even get mm-hmm. back in whatever it was, and it was his whole a, house was, looked like an ISP yeah, basically. It was 380 p, uh, well, not even not even progressive scan. It was just 380 resolution. Oh, 380p. Oh. And uh, he used Skype, and it was a mess. And he was constantly complaining about the equipment, but he was, he was the first to do it. I guess. Right, yeah. he was the OG of yeah. that stuff before before Rogan. Yeah, right. Yeah. Everyone thinks. Before Anything. anything before Adam Carolla, before fucking anything, you know. Yeah. So, well, yeah. that's my little Norm Macdonald story. Okay. That was actually about Tom Green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I just remember watching him going like, "Who the f- what's this weird odd man?" Because he would just come on. I had no idea about Saturday Night Live. I I didn't mm-hmm. know. I didn't even know he was a comedian. He'd just sit there and go, "Oh," he'd be like constantly. Oh, your lights! Uh, just constantly surprised and shocked at everything. And I'm like, "Who is this?" So, how guy? much was this? So, you're paying these phone bills. My parents were. Your parents were. But the idea and nothing, was, and nothing twigged in them. Like your young, parents, young no, Timothy. Timothy. No, because I, I have family in America, and they were paying this special deal with the the phone company, uh-huh. to where if you talked for under an hour per phone call, uh-huh. you only pay kind of local rates. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm watching Tom Green stream on yeah. the phone, like with a fucking a watch, because they didn't have smartphones uh-huh. back in the day. Just checking the watch, like I've got five minutes, five minutes. I'm like, fuck, I missed my chance, and I had to hang And up. you were to call again. Well, that was it for the night. The like, you get you get one hour per day of like. Oh, one hour per yeah. day. So if your parents were calling to the relatives in the United States, then yeah, you know, yeah, you don't like, get Tom, no Tom Green that yeah. night. Okay. My dad's talking to my uncle in New York, and I'm like, oh, off the fucking phone. I got <laughs> to call Green. Tom Green. <laughs> but no, he should. Like, I, I I'd like him to release the stuff, even the incriminating stuff, because it is very funny. Mm-hmm. Like there's uh, there's one particular stream I remember where he had Steve-O on and uh, St- Steve-O's clean and sober now so he, it water off a duck's back but he was doing um, nitrous oxide and drinking whiskey and Tom Green was drinking whiskey and by the end of the night they were like did you ever see that porn clip of the Oh God! Why am I talking about this? Do you ever see that porn clip? Oh, the clip <laughs> it's like she 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 came so many times. Her brain was just, and she's just like the best. It's like mush. Yeah, mush. They were like that at the end of the night. So Steve-O <laughs> just puts his foot through Tom Green's uh, glass coffee table and just starts screaming the N-word. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was never like it was never um, archived. Oh. So I'm like one of maybe three people who, who watched so the show live. live yeah. <laughs> Mental wow. stuff. Look at and another another more. Andy Dick came on with a baby doll and just ex- like explained in crazy detail what, how he has sex with children. 
<laughs> and that's gone as well. So, Tom Green, if you're watching, release that stuff, man. There's like a reason why you can't. It's incredible yeah. how, like, with what like people got away with back in the day. Yeah, mm-hmm. it wasn't even that back in the day. It was, it was streamed. But I mean, no one watched it live. Like the internet yeah. was barely a thing. YouTube had only been launched in 2005, so a year before Tom Green started uh, streaming. So. Mm. Oh, so like this was like like really you know off the cuff like getting celebra- celebrities on the internet yeah yeah it's yeah. like the like equivalent of like when you used to set up ham like a, a pirate radio station yeah. or something yeah. like oh, about okay. as many like many people were listening stream, like, mm-hmm. oh that's int- that's interesting like the really like wild west shit but with, with like actual yeah, cr- name like he, recognition but he created his own network you know the way like on youtube now you just go on and you just yeah. go live mm-hmm. he brought like broadcast equipment into his house with his own money and uh, and got like a dedicated fucking gigabit line which back then probably cost ho- thousands a month probably yeah. just to do this little weird show where he talked to Neil Hamburger and Norm Macdonald every other day but that's the yeah. thing Tom but that I, I think you know kind of get in this moment what you guys are all doing is I mean I know we live in a connected world now but it is that real underground pirate thing as much as you can do it these days make some fucking podcasts make some weird thing that goes out there mm-hmm. like to me, like this an, is the, anarchy into the world. Don't record five episodes of a podcast and never upload it like Oleg. <clears throat> right. Oleg. <laughs> right, I remember for some... I remember years and years ago when Tusi Soya had first started and it was like we were, we were in the old studio in Merku in, in Tato and like I remember they, they just got a few followers on their Instagram account and they made an Instagram live, Ari and Mikhail. And we were in that backstage in that weird old room that it used to be. And they just turned on their phone, put it there. And it was literally a cardboard sign that said like, starting soon. And they then did an hour live to their listeners. And then that to me was the most fucking rock and roll thing that I'd ever seen. I was like this, I mean, I was watching them doing it from the side and I'm like, this is gonna be it. This is This is it, like. So don't just like go, ah, why, why would I make something? Everyone else is doing something. Just do shit. Just do stuff. You know? Yeah, and you are, to be fair, you, you borrowed my camera and you're going to make your weird YouTube videos now. And yeah. I don't know what your plan is, but yeah, he, he borrowed the DSLR. He's yeah, just, he he's just going to make porn in here probably. He showed me. Yeah. He's going to bank some more <laughs> yeah, I showed strippers. him the porn I'm going to make. What's your yeah, plan though? Sh- what's your idea for uh, your, your thing? Well, what's your hang? What's my hang? Uh, yeah. I guess... Um, it's tough to describe, but like basically, it's uh, see how he goes Scottish. Dicks going into vaginas. See how he turns Scottish from the more beer he has? <laughs> Tough to describe. <laughs> sorry, go on. I've, I've been listening to a lot of Frankie Boy stand up at work. I'm sorry. Uh, basically, it's uh, you know, I guess the, the the most basic concept of like like principle is like I'm, I guess some like Estonian media, like a film. Usually a shitty film because it's Estonian, right? So put a film, make some jokes about it, and I don't have to like ex- explain it because I can just show it mm. and make. So you're a gonna joke. show the film and then like riff on the movie as it's pl- like MST3K type of stuff. Yeah, but like really highly like edited. Oh, okay. Like, highly edited. Like lots of jump cuts, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> not not like, not like no. that. But so like, you want to show it and then talk over it? <clears throat> no, not talk over it, but like, mm. like. You know, cut it basically, okay, and then talk about that. Scene. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, I guess like a similar thing would be like John Tron, if if you know who John yeah, Tron I know is. John, I know who he is. Yeah, yeah. S- something similar like that, because like there are like kind of like reaction shit on uh, like Estonian YouTube, but it's all like it's it feels like a bit of like a like an edited live stream, and not something. Some, some of the Estonian mm. reaction stuff is terrible. Yeah. Wait, there's this one kid. He's this like. 19 year old blonde kid yeah Andre Shavakin oh yeah. it's so bad I don't yeah. even know what he's saying but Shavakin. I'm just like no. yeah. Yeah, yeah but but he's also like you know he, he does shit but uh, it's not very good yeah right. he's not very funny no he knows how to hit it like he knows how to hit the exact thing that's going on right now like he's Mr. Pop Culture oh, yeah. Right yeah. yeah but he did try some things look in in a little bit of fairness to Zavakin. He had me on his podcast. That's how boring his podcast was at one stage. <laughs> that he had me on it. I was on his podcast back in the day. Yeah. That was I remember that day. I drove to Tartu, did the podcast with Zavakan. I mean, because he's like producing Why music. Tartu? Sorry? Because he has a studio there. 
Really? Yeah, he has a studio there. He was making music. He was doing things. Like we sat down and we talked about it. Nice. We talked about entertainment industry. Right. And then that was the night that I was then, I was in Tartu already because I was going to be hosting a party. And it turned out it was a birthday party for a really spoiled 16 year old whose uh, mother was the head of one of these quick loan companies. Oh, paid Like yeah. SMS loan yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. things. Yeah. And it was Sorry. full of spoilt 16 year olds. I was sick, way more sick than I am right now. I didn't want to do it. Um, I think that toll card was there as well. So it's a 16 year olds fucking party and Carl Eric Tolkar is performing. So oh, this tells you something God. about the thing. And I was sick and I didn't want to do it. And these 16 year old little fucking savages didn't want to uh, you know, listen or anything. And I'm supposed to do some host and then some comedy. And I think I did it, but it was terrible. And But the thing that, that got me in the end is I was, I, was, I was in this hallway and I was talking to, I don't know, the organizer lady or something who was just the secretary of that company. And what happened was this guy walked by me. I know I've told this story before. Anyway, this, this kid walks by me and says, you were shit. And then keeps on walking. <laughs> right. Accurate. Maybe very accurate. Walks by me. And so, and then I turn around and I go like, uh, th th thanks, bro. Uh, I love and respect you too. And yelled it at him. And he turned around and he put his fist up to me. Like he put his fist. Black power. Yeah, Black like power. I wish it was like that. He put his fist like just, I don't know if you can see in the video, like like this and just walked towards me. And I was like, why is this kid? <laughs> so like, so like, so, so like, pulled back his like, like arm, fist, fist. yeah, yeah, like, so like, 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 like an arrow, yeah, like an arrow, like this, and he just starts walking towards me, <laughs> like a video game, like, <laughs> yeah, where you take the stance and then you yeah. walk forward. Yeah. I was like, what's going on so here? Like, so I just stood there, and then just as he got, I mean. I don't want to say like, oh, I'm, I don't flinch. And I look, no, so it was, it was you, you, you punched the kid, Lewis. No, it was, ab <laughs> <laughs> it was absurd as Tumbert makes it sound, right? Oh yeah, I loved it. Um, it was absurd as Tumbert makes it sound, right? This kid walks up to me with his fist raised like he's going to punch me. And then he gets close to my head and then puts his fist down and walks off. And I was like, oh. And the thing though, is that the, the secretary of the company lady, she was right there and she fucking saw it. And I know she saw it. Weak. And so Bitch. I was like, oh, okay, that happened. But then because the whole thing was a shit show, the whole thing was just fucking terrible. And then they didn't want to pay me. They were like, no, nah, the thing a was a shit show. Scheme. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Rolling, they in, rolling in money. They didn't want to fucking pay me. Nah, it's a con After you had performed. After I'd done my bit, I tried to perform. These little savages, you know, were not having it. And they didn't want to pay me saying that. And I was like, why don't you talk to your secretary lady? And you talk about how I was almost, phys I was physically assaulted, almost physically assaulted, uh, you know, by one of the guests. I'm like, how about you pay? Literal child. How about you pay me? And they went, all right, we'll pay you. <laughs> and then they made, they made they pulled out like 25 euro. <laughs> <laughs> and I took my 20 euro and I left, fine. <laughs> Oh, that's so, mental. So Zavarkin. Anyway, that's why I, that's my Zavarkin story, which is not about Zavarkin. <laughs> oh, don't don't do that, Tom. But don't go up to people like that. Don't like that. It's not very yeah, intimidating. I'm Sixteen. <laughs> that's when you get when you're a sixteen year old whose dad owns some startup and you got a load of money. I mean, I, I mean, I, I think he was like testing like the limits of what, how far he can go. Because yeah. if it was spoiled, I mean, it just child, sounds like a shitty you're... fucking shitty little cunt. Right. Yeah, it was a little drunk. Kid. They got alcohol in them, and a little kid, and they got yeah. all the things. They were oh drinking God. as well. Yeah. Who'd have thought? I know. Yeah. Well, you can you can drink at sixteen here, right? Somewhat. Yeah. Unofficially. Well, uh -huh. by that you can drink at twelve as well. Yeah, I mean some have. <laughs> some have. So, oh. topic number three. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we're late on me. What other topics have we got here? We got the voting. Because I'll just if you want to if you want to talk about kebab, I'll fucking. Oof. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you like 10 different kebabs and, might, and you can tell me like which part of Turkey it's from. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of my topics were not as good. I was like... Yeah. Uh, One does in the mold like a kid <laughs> pretend punching. Ari yeah. shows, we did that selling at the London trip. You can become a KFC restaurant manager, Tim. They're advertising for them. Do you know what I saw today, Lewis? What I saw that? a rally car. Uh -huh. Parked on what's my a street. What's a rally, a rally car? A rally car. A rally car. You know, okay. Like an old school rally car. Mm -hmm. Estonian plates. 
but with a massive KFC logo on the side. Dang. Like a Lancia I want to be with a KFC. Yeah. The yeah, Colin yeah. McRae of KFC. Okay. Yeah. I was like, wow. When in doubt, KFC flat out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Rip he, Colin McRae. Uh, Tom eats a lot of KFC. Isn't so you right could time. be the KFC manager. <laughs> yeah, accidentally. Yeah. They're advertising for restaurant <laughs> managers. I can't manage to fucking... You could do that, but, you know, it's something... I can't manage to take a piss. So, like, so like people who just scream, like, fry the chicken quicker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, yeah. you can fry do that. it quicker. They don't even fry the chicken. A Kentucky Fried Chicken. They don't even fry it. Mm. To just like it goes what? in an oven. Kentucky can you Fried. It? What a fucking scam. It doesn't come from Kentucky either. Fuck. I tell you what, Talon Fried Chicken. One night I ordered fifteen uh, original recipe uh, drumsticks. Oh. I just peel off the skin and at the skin. It's quite. I think. I think Tom was watching me. 4 a.m. <laughs> Did you get up at 4 a.m. and order it? Oh, probably. Probably. I don't even want the protein in this. <laughs> <laughs> Just carbs. I feel bad for Tamba because there was one time before I lived where I live now, I was oh, staying in that. Oh. Uh, Tamba, come on, I got to tell this story. Uh, yeah, I was staying I, in I know, that, know. you know, that apartment over here. In, in Telescope, Telescope, down yeah. the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I had ordered, it was late at night. We were pissed drunk. And I'd ordered like f three buckets of chicken. <laughs> and literally like I, the three buckets are there. I turn and I look back, gone. Tamba just <laughs> devoured them. I and did, I, it's <laughs> three. No, but see, here's the thing. Ever since then, we've given him so much shit about this that when I order KFC <laughs> uh, now, he won't eat it. <laughs> like I will specifically order a bucket just for Tamba, mm. just for me, just for James. And Tamba will not touch his chicken. Because he doesn't want, he doesn't, he's too self conscious, you know? <laughs> well, usually by that time, I'm like full of beer already. Yeah. But like, it was like this weird night where I was just like, I had to devour something. Oh, yeah. And, and you I, did. And I, that, that bucket of chicken. <laughs> I remember you turning to me and we're like, we need a whole bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment from Bones Tim. Bones and all. <laughs> Judgment from Tim is rough. Yeah. And, and it was like extra spicy as well. So I wasn't, I wasn't even feeling good yeah. about it. I was like, it was like that joke from Borat where he's got his retarded brother in a cage. And his mm. sister's going, you will never get this. And you will never get this. And then he get out and he get this. <laughs> Tom but fucking wrapped his hands around that bucket and never let go. <laughs> I No, actually, like... Before I like I devoured it, actually like the bottom of the bucket fell out, so I just dropped the whole bucket. <laughs> eating not chicken off the floor. Floor right? chicken, because <laughs> I was so drunk. Oh my god! God, every, everyone was suffering through lockdown in 2020, and we just were eating chicken off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Pandemics are classic. Yeah, classic. <laughs> pandemics are classic. Hey, uh, pandemics. In my fucking apartment. Oh, Tim. Tim is, oh. yeah, your apartment is just Disneyland Sin. for adults. Sin. Sin. Dis yeah. Disneyland ben. for comedians. It is not the mosque, bro. <laughs> it is not a yeah. holy site. It's very it's, far from... Uh, it's just a place where comedians come when they want to yeah. get... It's like cheers for us yeah. when you want to get away for it or... Yeah. And just go to another place. Dun, 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 you could dun, dun, you could invite an imam to bless your den of sin. And, I, imam and would he, melt before getting to front door, bro. Yeah, mm. he he would leave with a bucket of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, the imam's probably delivering the bucket of chicken. But anyway, uh, hey. I mean, there were there, there were some uh, <laughs> there were some mental nights. Like I mean, we we probably should have been safer during like the like the day you got arrested, maybe. <laughs> Which, which arrested <laughs> yeah, which one of those was yeah. it's funny because you could have just said like oh I wasn't driving that car yeah well, oh, I wasn't I wasn't driving fair enough fair enough yeah mm. and but then you gotta concoct you gotta concoct a story you have to say what it is then you gotta you know like if you start you, like he was like 20 centimeters away from closing the door and like being yeah I should have I, I, I should have thrown Caleb under the bus motherfucker because remember, he came back from James's and was like, what, what? What, what? what? Like, there's like, not, there's not crazy guy screaming crime. out the car. There's not actually, the difficulty is it's not actually Caleb. So the story is Caleb was screaming racial obscenities from a car. Uh, well, yeah. And, and I mean like. Eating a burger in a Jeep. Screaming. Screaming like a repressed American would. Who's been told his whole life that he needs to be good and say the right things and, and act in the right way? Not white trash. The driver and of the car was slightly over the limit, right? But was safe. But the driver of the car got in trouble. I'm mm. not going to say who the driver of the car. So the was. difficulty is there's nothing to sell out to, you know. While, well, you see, the, the, we have the, a, we have a phrase in Ireland, mm -hmm. and, and I and it, it it applies to Caleb. 
no? Uh, he needs a hiding. Mm. He needs a hiding. Good he needs hiding. a, a wake-up. Well, he would need a wake-up call then, I think. But apparently it's he not, got it. Something happened in America, I'm sure. Yeah, the difficulty is we don't know what he got in America. He seems to have got something. Proper Coney 2012, like, bleh, like screaming. But... We don't know. It's for a hiding to be a hiding, right? right? You need to know what the hiding is to have the satisfaction. Oh, if that guy got the hiding. I feel good that I know he got. But you don't know what the hiding was. But I can put my Dr. House hat on Ooh. and deduce, Ooh. right? Dr. House wore a hat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I do have a limp. So. <laughs> but uh, so Caleb did these shows. I hate talking about Caleb when he's not here. We did these comedy shows in America. And you know Caleb, he'd post, if he, if he did all right, he'd post videos of it on, online. Sure. He bombed so hard that he just had to quit everything and become a priest. That's what I think. <laughs> he's now an imam. Yeah, he's an imam. <laughs> he's in the Estonian yeah. Islamic cultural center. Imam he's in the, the guy out there. He's the guy who's going to come and bless your apartment. Yeah. You, call him, you call a mosque up. That's hey. why he doesn't drink alcohol in your yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need the imam to come out and bless my apartment okay caleb shows up don't worry don't worry i know the address <laughs> but yeah 2020 mental crazy Woo. we still got months to go there's still months well this year's been bored this year's been fairly boring this year's mm -hmm. it's fucking september it's mental yeah. yeah time plays time flies when you're having fun boy yeah. here we are ordering mm. kfc and getting drunk with yeah. nothing to do yeah. yes I mean, we talk about oh, Tim's apartments are fucking crazy. We just get drunk and eat KFC. Like it's, yes, it's, it's not, not that, that wild. wild. What's the? Oh my! Somebody smoked weed in the sink. Oh no! <laughs> Whoa! Illegal drugs in my apartment? Not no. at all. Not at all. <laughs> weed is like semi-illegal. I, th I think if a police officer like saw like like half a gram of weed, he'd be like, "I'm not doing the paperwork." But isn't it like in law now that they, they don't, don't really give a shit? They don't they don't prosecute if you're like intent to di distribute is what they want to catch, right? Yeah, if you're like pushing like massive amounts of like drugs, that's where it gets you know iffy. Yeah, but it's like in Ireland, I like I can I, it'll never be in, in my lifetime weed will never be legalized in in, in Ireland for sure. I also don't think we'll be legalized in Estonia. I know. I it, it, it'll happen do. here before it'll happen in Ireland. The best you can do is hope that it's like, you know, not looked at. Because while oh, we're all cool, hip residents of Estonia, I don't want to say actual Estonians, right? The people that control things, the middle management of the country, they do not want. They won't get through the government. It won't get through. Do you think, though? Because, I mean, no. I think it's a generational thing that the, the old fuckers have to die off first. Do we think? Yeah. Okay. How popular is ECRA? Do we think ECRA wants weed? No. That's the thing. I can't wait for the next election because it's going to be... In bloodbath. Well, I think ECRA... Then again... Sure, ECRA is going to come in and get loads of votes. That's yeah. just the ups and downs. That's how a, a, a right-wing party goes, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it, they're at first like, yeah, fuck, oh, and then they get in, and then they get in, as they did, and they don't fucking do anything, and the whole thing gets fucked, so they get out. Mm -hmm. But then they spend enough time in the opposition, and they're like, oh, fuck, and then just it's just a roller coaster. Well, it's partisan shite. They don't agree, and so they're not going to agree, and that's it. Just to interject, though, a Finland is thinking about legalizing weed, though. Ah, I see um, that. You see, this is the thing, right? Because in Ireland, what the UK, what what America does, the UK does, and then what the UK does, Ireland will do. Basically, we just piggyback off. Of I it. read that. I read that article as well. So that go, Finland we, wants to. There's no fucking way they will do that in Finland. Like that's just an article based off maybe like one politician said. Oh, so they're not actually. Oh, legal, we're thinking like, about yeah. it. No, they're no. not actually. There's like, no. Finland is so fucking boring. So fucking backwards. It's a horrible I mean, they need it. They should have weed to make that place more interesting. Just so, hey, come to Finland. It's so fucking boring, but you can yeah. smoke weed. And loads of incest. Like my friend Kieran Campbell. He, he, uh... I'm, I'm not gonna. Lie. Finland has loads of incest. That's not. That's, yeah. that's like and shit police who can't fucking beat a, an Estonian mushroom seller in a, in a market. Which oh, is, dude, which is that, also that. a product Phoenix of incest. <laughs> oh, dude, that that video is a classic. But uh, my friend Kieran, like he he married an Estonian chick. And he was like, yeah, let's move to Finland. And I was like, no, bro, 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 what? come here, bro. We go to Moscow, bro, it's okay. Alhamdulillah. He was like, nah, man, I'm going to go to fucking Helsinki and like live the cool life in Helsinki. Ne never has anybody been so excited about, let's go to fucking Finland. Wait, sorry, he married an Estonian? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
But he felt that he wanted to move to Finland. Yeah, because um, he, he had, he'd worked there for like a summer in a bar mm. and made fuck tons of money because it's Finland. Mm. And was like, yeah, money. I'm like, yeah, money, but Finland mm. though. <laughs> the tax. Like, yeah, you, you so worked for a hard. summer, got the fuck out, didn't have to pay much tax. Wait until you live a life. Like I'm not even going to say no offense to Finland because Finnish people are horrible <laughs> and their country is horrible. I'm <laughs> sorry, but it's horrible. I've only ever been there to do shows with Comedy Estonia. I've never actually went like for the fun of it because there's no fun there. It's just fucking. Tim, do you have a, do you have the, like, I don't quite understand your vaccine status yeah. right now. And I'm not sure I want to know, but can you travel on whatever you've got yeah, right course, now? Yeah. I got the, the Janssen, the one shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you've got some certificate because we need to go to Helsinki for the day to that arcade, that that bloke who's got the video games arcade in the outside of Helsinki. You don't even, you don't even need the vaccine to go there. You just, uh, it's just open border now, right? Eh? No, no, you need to show you can, something. You can at least get tested on the ferry on your way over there. Possibly. So, I so anyway, we can go. Yeah. So we're gonna go. We're gonna make a video of us going. Don't make me go to Helsinki. <laughs> <laughs> I truly Please. hate that city. No, I, really I don't hate look, that city. I don't want to go there either. But we don't have to go to Helsinki. We just have to go to the video games place on the outside it's, of it's Helsinki. In Helsinki. <laughs> yeah, but it's on the outside, and we'll drive there. Look. Tim, I can't believe oh, if we I, drive there. No problem. I can't believe I'm the one who's advocating going to Finland here. No, we'll drive. We'll make a video out of it, and then we'll take the, the yeah, Volvo I'll do off. That. I don't want to. And him. we're gonna make a whole video of us going. There's a bloke in Finland who, like, in Helsinki, he has like a warehouse or something, okay. and it's full of arcade games. Okay. He's like a collector. So like cabinets, fucking cabinets, the full, like the big ones, the weird whole ones, thing, weird, obscure weird cabinets, ones, yeah. and it's like twelve euros, and you can play as much as you want so he has like a weird hungarian version of pinball basically yeah it seems legit yeah. it seems like the real <laughs> thing he has actually a, a cabinet that i want to buy it's 800 euros and i fucking want to buy it real bad i just don't have a place like the only place i have to put it is this studio so we go to helsinki we may come back something with a video. to entertain stem in i guess yeah. <laughs> we may have a video games <laughs> cabinet in this studio because i really fucking want that astro cab um, thing about you though is that you love the the fact that they're they're original cabs. I'd love one of those just uh, oh yeah those systems that are just arcade one up yeah. as the the new ones. Yeah, I want the original Japanese Astro, but okay. I mean, I'll get you that for your birthday, Tim. I'll get you an arcade one up or I something. I won't say no. I won't say no to that. When is your birthday, Tim? Who knows? Saint Patrick's Day, March the seventeenth. Mm. Oh. And on that day, I I for Ramadan, I fast. <laughs> I don't drink. Praise Allah. <laughs> Go to mosque. That's it. I think the world is gonna end when I see you fasting, <laughs> brother, brother, brother. I didn't. I did. I. I didn't need a Monday or Tuesday this week. We did two days yeah, without I any. I couldn't just full on glass rum, rum and coke. I couldn't fucking leave the fucking. No, I didn't drink. Just rum and coke. <laughs> Sleep and rum and coke. No, I didn't. I, I did two straight days of nothing in my system, mm. and I felt very bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Would not recommend. It was. It was a mistake, bro. No, Ramadan is not good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck Ramadan, bro. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, we could do that, I guess. We'll go there just for a day. We don't even have to stay overnight. Because <laughs> the appeal of Helsinki for me, yeah, and no it's the only reason I ever did shows, is because it was Burger King and Helsinki back like, in the day in, in the train station. Uh, it's got a Baltic station now. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, now, no, yeah. But like yeah. for years, there was no Burger King in Estonia. Is Burger King, King good enough to. No, take the when, it, when no. it came here, I've never, I don't think I've ever eaten Burger King once. It was just, it was a very <laughs> poor excuse. It was a super poor excuse for us to go to Helsinki. Yeah. Uh, it's about, you've been to Helsinki, right? Mm. No, but I have been to Burger King. Mm. Really? We've yeah. got some, we've got, so Ari's got two nights in Helsinki and John McCombs is going to do a night. We really? have got one night booked with John's John McCombs. Back over, yeah. John McCombs is going to have sex with all the women in the Oh, Australia. dude, nonstop. They love that black dude. Yeah. All right. 100%. All the chicks that Daniel's banged are going to want. <laughs> that's oh, a that, really, really that's so, a, so like every foreign comedian who comes over that's a story nobody load, knows loads of tail oh, yeah. yeah 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 and, and straight up uh my okay my informal discussions with estonian women have confirmed this but okay it's not scientific but the dude is not here for a while like if the dude is here for a while that's an issue that's reputation people are going to hear about it you're going to need to reattach that mic to that stand probably yeah. oh, bro, bro. but bro. if the tra if the comedian is traveling through bam no problems he's back 
So that's your problem, Tom. But you yeah, but doesn't living... like Sloss come back every three years? So it's no, bit, that's fine. But it's that I mean, like, for Sloss, uh, but then again, his status is so high that yeah. Know, but like when Sloss comes it. back, the chicks that were fifteen are now eighteen. <laughs> 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 every three years, you know, that's how it works. Oh. oh. Well, anyway. But I'm, but, but I'm glad. But I'm, but I'm glad that I'm uh, that I get to like. You need some help here. Let me. Apparently, uh, here. Oh yeah, you've I'll never. Hold, uh, I'll hold this. I've never, I've never seen Sloss. Uh, you've never met him. You've never met Kai Humphries either. You've met Daniel Sloss and Kai Humphries. No, okay. No, no. Absolute fucking lush monsters. The two. We got two nights as well here. Yeah, new tie. Two, two nights here as well. It's gonna be good. Sloss. He's a big star, no, Lewis. He's a big star Netflix special. He used to come here when he was uh, yeah. a little young boy, a fresh-faced young boy. Yeah. Other way, Tombat. What do you mean? Oh, my God. Tombat doesn't know how to screw what? things. Hey, 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 uh, hey. Oh, by the way, t- we're trying to put the microphone stand For back some reason, I was, I, was, like, I was thinking, yeah, this is going left, right? This is going left. And nah. Yeah, you were turning it and it was getting smaller. And you're like, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Maybe yeah. Steven's the smart one in that fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair enough. I mean, I think we all have our moments. Mm. Of so, how's your podcast? How's this? You got you, you and Tauri and Steven. Yeah, right. That's good. It's weird that it's getting fans. Oh, like, shit. actually, we went to Mecca once, and some guy like, like, just like, like, fucking. Well, made, so here's the thing, though. It's he bought, knew, a, bought yeah. us drinks. It's not weird that you're getting fans because Estonians, they're they're they love consuming Estonian content. Sure. Not really, yeah. But then there's like shit podcasts, like you know. Yeah, the but one, you're the one funny. That the did. But because I've heard, I've heard from people, I've heard from people as well, because they see me post your fucking naked body sleeping on my floor on 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 the internet, and they go, "Oh, you know Tom, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're really struggling with that fucking mic, buddy. Holy fuck, two beers in, and you can't even barely fucking stand." <laughs> There. Papa it's also because of the fact Lewis made it all better. I have not like I woke up at <laughs> like uh, I woke up at like five and I have not had breakfast. Just the the, the two beers are my like. You food. had the late shift, the night oh, shift. Oh, bro, bro! Whoa! Jesus, fuck! The oh. table's falling over here. Oh, um, alhamdulillah, bro! This is amazing for the video watchers here. <laughs> it's not good, bro. Oh my god! Right. Thankful, thankfully, thankfully it was take, empty. Like take right. control of the situation. So it's nice you're doing you're doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah, and you and yeah. Tauri and Steven and you know some people are following. That's great, man. We're actually getting like fan mail, mm-hmm. like for like questions to like discuss, and which is like weird for me because we only. Obviously, you're doing something right, so like mm-hmm. just keep doing that. Uh, I think because uh, our format is a bit different. Because usually, like a po- like uh, most comedians on a podcast are just like two comedians talking to, ch- to each other. Mm-hmm. But when it's like three, when it's three guys, so it's more like a more like more of a, like a riff, and like s- like Steven, like we all shit on Steven. That's always like a crutch, <laughs> all, always like a source of humor. But the problem now is that uh, you have this little bit of momentum, and he's got fucking off. The yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. So but imagine though, how good it'll be when he comes back from the army. Yeah. Well, he could he could do the Roger thing and come back a legend. Mm. Or he could go the other direction. Did Roger really did like did the, did the year of militaries and and he came back? I remember a legend. like ba- like I, I I hosted his first ever show at Pöning and I remember like just I was mean to him and I was like ah calling Roger. You you, you shot on him. Yeah, because I just expected him to just one of these kids who shows up and just does stand up sure. once or twice and then fucks off. Yeah. But and he was he, blonde as well, and us- blonde, usually yeah. the beautiful, kids, beautiful, you know. usually the kids who do it once are blonde. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. But uh, yeah, he came back from the military and he fucking started crushing immediately. So. Oh. And he never like he never really talked about his military service on. No, he's never. I've stage. So. He does have a bit about uh, one dude though in the military. Okay. But like one bit. So, so Stevens gonna get the bits. He's gonna lose a little weight, you know, get in shape. It's great. All the things are oh, good. They'll send him off to Afghanistan <laughs> to deal with the fucking <laughs> He's Taliban. In Mali. He's done. <laughs> him alone. That's all he gets. It's just or maybe Russia just finally strikes. Steven, Steven versus the Taliban. <laughs> Kabul airport going. Uh, <laughs> kebab, kebab. Casino <laughs> 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 uh, Do Don't worry. I'll get you food after this. I got something special for you. What's special? Where are we going? Very special. This? I'm now scared. I don't want to fucking talk out of turn here. Oh. Everyone loves Villandi Burger. It was recently voted uh, that one of the top five European burgers. Oh, wow. top, five. top five, uh, which means fifth, fourth actually. <laughs> fourth. <laughs> okay. fourth. I don't buy. See, <laughs> I don't buy the list because 
Some of the burgers that were on the list are like, what? I've had them, like places in London where you're like, nah, nah. It's mm. a shame. So it came fourth, which is good. But there's this other place in town, which mm. everyone knows. It's a v- uh, Burger Ex Volta. I don't know. Vito Burger. Vito Burger, yeah. Ex Volta. They do, they do a, th- a butter burger. Mm-hmm. Now, just to give you a bit of a history on the butter burger, it's uh, from Wisconsin in America. Uh-huh. This place called, um, I think it was Sal's Diner, was the first place to do it. They literally take a giant spoon. Uh-huh. Scoop up a huge spoon of soft room temperature butter uh-huh. and put that on the bun, and then put the bun on top of the Ooh. burger, and the butter melts through the. It's uh-huh. this. It's heart attack central, sure. but they do one there. Fantastic burger, but it's not the burger you'll be eating. It's their ch- I'm gonna eat you some chili fries, man. Where's the? <laughs> <laughs> you're like they take they take a whole huge. I gave my full thesis on burgers, and they're like, uh, but you're gonna get fries. <laughs> you're gonna get some fries that are so spicy. I'll put, I'll, put the, I'll put the order in right now. Right now. Where's the like, Vera burger? Are oh, oh, you gonna order uh, here? Sure. Yeah, it's um. We can interview the bulk guy, Tim. That's the perfect idea, Ooh. Tim. That's our new podcast idea. We sit in this studio, talk <laughs> shit about foreigners, and then we order Bolt. And then and you insult their food. And then we pay <laughs> no, for we them, and the then we bring in, them on yeah. when they come in here. This is perfect. So we, like, take some of their income away, because they're like, oh, I got food to True. Nah, some, man, come, Somehow, can so we like, pay them? Can we so somehow like, pay them enough? Here's 100 they, euro. Uh, we'll put a mic on you, yeah, podcast, yeah, 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 yeah. and we'll be like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> mm. And here, then I'll be like, I missed, the, I missed the fucking work in Estonia. You'll sit here, motherfucker. I'm the reason you came here. And he probably wants to stab me at this stage because he's like, you told me there would be jobs. Fuck you. And then he... You want a burger, Louis? Sure. I'll can can, can we do a, like a, a pee break? Mm. We could, yeah, of course. All right, we'll have a pee break. Let's do it. Yeah. Because I'm bursting. Go. My feet are stinking. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake, man. Because I'm wearing old socks. <laughs> Why don't you have Why fresh socks? Why are you wearing old socks? Why don't you have fresh socks? I just grabbed whatever was on the floor. Just you fucking animal. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know clean socks? You, do you have any clean I have socks? Lo- I have all the clean socks in the world. But you, so, okay, so there was just some shit lying on the floor. Yeah. And there's clean socks in a, a drawer, I assume, in a cupboard or something like well, this. Well, I, I panicked, right? Because it was it was five panicked. minutes to six. Socks, ah! No, okay. I, I was like, I got to fucking, oh shit, I don't want to be late. Because I already flaked on you twice. I was like, no, I can't be fucking late. So I just like had to go to the shop and it's a whole thing. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, so you ordered some Vidal Burger. Where is Vidal Burger? I never quite worked this one I'll out. Oh, by... Um, um, Not in Vidal? Uh, uh, no, Blesner. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's nowhere near like Vidal Gate or anything downtown? No. No. Oh. No Patriotic no fucking Vidal Burger, you know? No Blesner. Yes, the new fucking hip part of town. Oh, it's totally hip. Okay, order's going in live. Where should the order be left? Fucking in my mouth, you cunt. <laughs> uh, Poor Thomas. Maybe just here <laughs> or something? We could just go down and get it or something? Yeah, yeah just, just like, leave it outside the front door. Just, just uh, leave it outside Teleskivy. Where? Just outside Teleskivy. Don't worry about it. That famous band are drinking in uh, the place across the road, the um, gin place. Uni- Uniperium? Uniperium. Famous band. A famous what? Estonian band. The, uh, what? what are they what called? style of band? I forget the name of the band. They're famous, though. Anything? I saw them in Noblesner like two months ago. Uh, anyway, they're drunk. Curly, there, curly so they're gonna eat our. They're going to eat our food. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cu- who's a famous band? Just, oh. Bro, could he's, you grab me beer from fridge, bro? He's tumbled. Yeah. I'm, I'm no, they, aren't they some more here? But yeah, is, yeah. is there like a cold one in there, though? Well, I'm a hua. I'm a hua for the cold. You hua. You fucking hua. Have you watched uh, The Sopranos, the show? Uh, no, not the series. No. Only episodes here and there. Because Many Sins in Newark is coming out next month. Right, with Joey Diaz is in it as well. Diaz Uncle Joey's got... Uh, so it's the backstory, isn't it? It's it's about... There's a character in The Sopranos, Christopher Moltisanti. It's the story of his father, right, Dickie okay. Moltisanti. Like Tony Soprano's son, or... Um, James Gandolfini's son he's getting all the press because mm. oh it's James Gan- Gandolfini's son who's playing Tony Soprano but it's he's it's not it's not about him right it's okay. about Dickie Motosanti's life okay so yeah. previous not quite a backstory but previous yeah. generations yeah. Yeah. of yeah. the Soprano so, so like a prequel huh so like a prequel yeah kind of a bit well I mean there's many stories to tell in the Sopranos universe so yeah. it's like a series on no it's a, a movie 
Movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, I thought mm-hmm. it was a series. Okay. Oh, movie. Uh huh. Yeah. When's it coming out? And are you, you know, scared shitless, mm-hmm. excited? And where's Vera? No, I don't get excited about anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing like video games movies like, like who fucking cares when you when you were like starving yourself for two days <laughs> you weren't excited for the uh, for that first post alhamdulillah yeah. bro you know me too well bro i'll tell you where this whole islamic thing and I, this is a funny thing now because <laughs> I, I st- this is a funny thing now this islamic bro, thing is funny back then alhamdulillah bro listen i tell you we go mosque and i explain uh i, I started playing this game called phasmophobia Mm-hmm. With James. Yeah, you want us to play. Yeah. It is a scary game where you hunt ghosts. Mm. I don't care about all of that. What I do is I, I do this uh, Muslim character because the the game is very voice chat heavy. The ghost listens for your voice. There's voice recognition. So you got to like talk to the ghost to, to get the ghost to do shit. So I just go around the house trying to convert the ghost to Islam. <laughs> 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 and the timing is weird because everything's procedural and everything's random. But sometimes I'm going around the house like, bro, bro, ghost, alhamdulillah, bro, come to Allah, bro. To the shahada right here, walakhi, walakhi, bro. And the ghost will throw a book at me. <laughs> and I like, don't throw Quran. We read Quran. We don't throw Quran. <laughs> the ghost will react. So I've been doing this every night, uh, every night, myself and my friend from Texas, who is the same. We are both uh, Arab. We convert. And uh, it's a quick uh, crack filter. It's a quick, like, fun filter. Because you quickly find out who are just dry cunts and who are legends. Because you'll often get people go like, ah, uh, you're weird. Why is it multiplayer? Thing? Multiplayer, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're in so some sort of... With like two other random people. Oh, okay. They're like, you're weird. Why are you talking like that? Bro, bro, read Quran. Just come to mosque, bro. <laughs> ah, you're, ah, uh, you're weird. And then they quit. And then you get the one guy who's like, who comes, joins in. He's like, oh, yes, bro. Let's go convert us, bro. <laughs> and then for that one little short 15 minute game, you're all just... Arabic ghost hunters trying to So how many people ghosts. are typically in the game? Four. Four. Okay, that's different. It's not mm-hmm. 50 of no, PUBG no, no. or something just like four. that. Okay, just you go, four. You go around the house, you got to say the ghost's name. Mm. It has a name. It'll hear you saying its name and it'll go fucking crazy, throw shit at you. Mm. Uh, there's a chance you'll die. The ghost could get you. It's fucking terrifying. But bro, <laughs> Islam, bro, it's the light. <laughs> Don't you technically qualify as an imam? If you tried to like convert people yeah, in, a, in yeah. a virtual space, that's the beauty. See, the, here's the thing: I've been doing this character so much now that I'm cu- I'm I'm slowly converting. To this. You are. <laughs> yeah. You're so close to joining ISIS <laughs> with the robes like, on. One read, one read of Quran, and I'm gone. I'll be doing my shahada at the fucking Estonian mm. Islamic Center. Tom, but you don't understand. This is like a Fight Club situation here. Like when oh. Tim says, "Hey, I'm gonna call up the the mosque and get the imam to come over here," it's Tim. Like he, it's the same person, but he's been living a separate life yeah, yeah. here. That Tim, Tim is the Estonian imam, but he doesn't know it yet. It's just like Fight Club. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, For yeah, like a Tyler Durden situation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, see, he, yeah. Here's my point, right? Because Daniel Weinberg's keeps messaging me and Caleb About keeps me, and just everyone keeps messaging me saying, Tim, why, why'd you quit comedy? Why'd you stop performing? <laughs> yeah. I realized that just my fucking whole life is performing. Reading Quran to ghost performance. I'm walking around my apartment with no one there, just doing bits and performing. Fucking my, I don't need to go on stage. I perform all the time, man. So they're basically like Sam Kimis and but but, but Islam. No. <laughs> well, actually, maybe yeah. He was a preacher, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. he was. Yeah. yeah. And screamed at every bunch. Another of another comedian. Then com- other comedians love to name drop. Oh, Kinnison, man. Oh, yeah. when I saw Kinnison back in the day. I Kinnison, don't get him. Richard Pryor, man. <laughs> Pryor and Kinnison, man. Ugh. Yeah, but not Cosby because you're fucking drunk. Yeah, you're not fucking anymore. Drunk. Is that what it's gonna be like in ten years? You'd be like, I saw fucking Zezerad, man. I yeah. fucking saw, Zezerad saw Zezerad the stage, back in the day. Oh my god, that shit was terrible. He did his pussy soap joke, man. Oh, oh. Okay, man. <laughs> Wait, is that my joke or Stuart's joke? That's your joke. Is it? That's pussy like the, that's the biggest laugh you ever got. Pussy soap. You told this. Pu- the oh yeah, pussy soap with joke. the marijuana thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Terrible jokes. Terrible. Oh, no, though. It's, it's it was it's the perfect joke because mm. you have this weird tense build up. There's an interaction between you and the stranger, mm. and then it wraps up with that fucking punchline at the end. Um, but you stopped doing it, bro. You turn your you turned away from Allah, bro. I did. I turned away from Allah. I turned away from comedy. I don't do well stand up anymore. I don't do stand up so much anymore. Why? Both. Why? Yeah. Hmm. You don't want to, or just? I don't. That's a it's a, Tom Sealed. It's a very deep issue, 
and it's fine. It's all right. I you just did the the fucking inside the actor studio thing to him. <laughs> just ask the in the middle of a random. Just like, but why though? But why? Fuck, fuck. You, you, you got me. Now he's gonna it's tear up. Oh, yeah. Go, oh, but <laughs> my parents. When I was a young boy, I don't know, man. I but, don't need the validation. Oh, alhamdulillah, bro. <laughs> I think it's like stand up is a very complicated relationship for me. It's this thing that I have helped along with many, many people. I don't take the credit, but helped to create and birth. And there's all these shows and so many different comedians and shit like that. And we've worked hard to make those shows and worked hard to, to, to make sure shit runs, you know, fairly efficiently and, and, and everything can happen. And somewhere along the line for me doing that, it lost something like the art thing lost. It's more business for you than I guess business. Cause you do still perform, you do private. Stuff. Sure. Sure. I mean, you want to say business, business isn't quite accurate. Yes. It's business, but it's craft pre- more procedural. Than art. Yeah. Maybe craft more than art that just seeing the sausage and having sculpted how, how the sausage is made lost a little something for me and i'm and i'm happy don't get me wrong i'm not like bagging on this it's only because you brought it up (laughs) (laughs) i'm happy that you know look if the the love of the sausage not the love but you know if, if i don't have the same wonder of how the sausage is being made for me i don't mind because there's you and well not so much you but all your other fucks who do like making the sausage and do make it happen. And I'm happy for that. For me, somewhere in the middle, I don't know if it's a bit defeatist. I don't know if it's the wrong attitude because now I love, that's why I like making my bullshit YouTube videos because it's nothing to do with stand up. It's nothing to do with this amazing organization that we've all helped build. Nothing to do with the whole thing. It's just something I can do on my own. And I, I can, if I detach, appreciate that if I was just a random guy and I started to do stand up, it would feel like my random thing that I'm doing and would have that energy or that special fucking whatever to it. Mm-hmm. So that's why I like making videos now, even though they seem dumb and I understand they're dumb just because it's a thing I can do on my own. Cause for me, almost any stand up is, you know, either we do it or I intimately understand how it's done and it's involved with the sweat and tears of fucking trying to make this thing work and the the business side and it's not just doing jokes it's running this business it's friggin making sure everyone's your okay watch your language friggin friggin, oh, friggin so terrible. Language. i know why Fuck am i censoring hell. myself at this stage <laughs> or an hour and a half into the podcast so something happened there and i don't want to be like oh you know it's not a sub story to tell it's just something that kind of happened so my but this then evolves into something else which is stand up and any art form is not a fair and it's not a thing that it's like it's guaranteed if you work hard and you work hard and you work hard that i will get to this stage like the the guys who are doing any art but the stand up they've worked hard absolutely 100% Sander worked very hard Sander uh, Ari Mati worked very hard but there are other comedians who have also worked very hard but are not making it it's not fair and there's a few of us who are trying to find something else besides stand up to do and i look i'll only comment on myself cuz i don't want to comment for anyone else and and pull anyone you else want to put Rauno on blast for example <laughs> 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 All right, I don't want to comment on anyone else, but if you try and find something else, let, let's let's just use the example of my YouTube videos, right? As an example, I can do them and that's great. And I like doing them. I get a lot of satisfaction out of them. But even though I never truly popped as a stand-up, I'll always have that thing knowing that stand-up is the most pure form of entertainment. Like stand-up is your first love it's that first girlfriend that you never quite get over with. And later on, you know, you find a partner and everything's good and you love that partner and, and that's great, right? But stand-up is the irrational, illogical love that you'll never get over. 
and you'll do something else in another field. And I know a bunch of us are doing things in, in different areas. And look, I, I don't want to uh, impose my opinion on them, but I have a suspicion that it's just like me because you know inside of your heart that stand-up is the most pure form of entertainment. It's just you and the, the crowd and that's all it is. And when I do something else, it's a video, it's even audio, there's something in the middle. So there is, and especially here in Comedy Estonia, because we've sort of had to fucking push so hard to make this thing a thing. And like, it's the stand-up, it's the stand-up. And then to say like, no, I'm not. It's, uh, it takes some time to, to deal with that. And I just suspect that the other dudes who are also doing other things and achieving good success in other things as well because that's how sta- how entertainment goes you do one thing you do a bunch of things you you're on tv you're on the radio you're on this thing you're on that thing you develop a career i just suspect stand-up is always the first girlfriend that you never quite nothing else can ever quite live up to that's how beautiful stand-up is that's how i feel about allah bro <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So basically, the, the reason you don't do stand up anymore because like the work and stress like kind of clouds it a bit. Sure, if you want to say that, yeah, there's and, too much behind the scenes. Do, like I'm doing like things that are not related that is a bit of like a getaway. Yes, I want to get away from it a little bit. I want to do my own thing. There's nothing to do with stamp. I and I don't mean to say I don't like it. I love comedy Estonia. Mm-hmm. I love all the things we do, but there's some part of me that just wants to do something on my own yeah. now. You know, I just want to do one project. I like my videos because it's me and a camera and a script. That's it. No fucking, I don't have to talk to no venue. I don't have to coordinate with a project manager. Mm -hmm. I like something about that. Fair enough. Mm. You got to coordinate with yourself though, right? Well, that's fine. You are your own project manager. Sure, but then it's all me. You know, here's something I made and not to discredit something that we make as a group, not at all. That's even more amazing, I think. But, um... Because I, I often, mm. like, I wonder where the fuck that part of me went. Because I used to make short films when I was a kid. Mm. Like, I, I, well, maybe. Well, <laughs> I, was, I, met, I, I, met a sh- I was in the process of making a short film called Milk. The entire movie was a guy wakes up, poor, poor cereal. Oh, there's no milk. <laughs> gotta, go, gotta go get milk. And whimsical. He has an adventure. So he marches through the countryside of Ireland, climbs mountains <clears throat> to get milk. Stupid idea. <laughs> I, was, I was at the cusp of finishing it when I fell down the side of a mountain in Kerry. And fucked up my knee and, uh, and almost died. Frankly, like I fell down. You should have put that in the script. Slip. I I still have the videos of me falling. There's like I have the, <laughs> I have the same DSLR you have there. That was the camera I was using. Oh fuck! And there's like a video of me filming. Kyle is the my friend. Kyle is the subject. He's like climbing up a like a fucking pissing down rain in a mountain. I don't know what the fuck we were thinking. So you, there's a video of me like filming him, and then you just see me go, and you just you see the camera flip. And you and you, you hear Kyle go, Timmy, <laughs> Timmy, and me going, I can't stop, I can't stop, because I was like trying to dig my elbows into the the mountain to stop oh. falling, but big fat guy momentum, alhamdulillah, it's like yeah. Indiana Jones, <laughs> the, the ball. <laughs> is this the going. moment? I mean, is this the the moment for you where it ticked over or something? <laughs> well, after that, because this we were in the middle of the fucking mountains in Kerry, my knee was fucked. It was a two-hour trek back to the car park. Yeah. I had nothing but my friend's tripod as, to use as a crutch. And <laughs> after that, I just said, look, I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. Huh. And I put all this stuff away. And to this day, Kyle is like, ah, oh, it's such a pity. We didn't because, finish milk. Because I knew what I was doing, you know? I had, like, the bokeh, the, the shots were beautiful. And I even have two, like, little trailers I cut together. Because uh, for me, it was... I want to see sh- one of those trailers. Yeah, 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 I'll link them to you. No bother. I feel like there is, there's a story here. And it's not just the story of the milk. I mean, you were originally trying to create this story of this gentleman who mm-hmm. w- was doing this. But there's a greater story about Tim here. That it's Tim's trying to make milk. He does this. He goes this. And then falls down the mountain. Switches to the, the fourth wall. Gets dropped. And Tim is going down the mountain. And that's, But what I think is the actual reason is because like when I was in school I used to fucking write poems oh my god and I used to write books what a faggot oh my god <laughs> absolute <laughs> like, li- literal like, homosexual like. like like your like coercing women into having sex with you was like I wrote a reciting poem. like Lord Byron and shit here's something for you I had a teacher right and her name was Emer it's like a traditional Emer Emer and I was in love like E-M-U-R E-I-M-E-A-R Emer 
I was in love. Fucking Irish. Fuck kind of name. I was that? deeply in love with this woman. Here's what I did. Emer. Right? I wrote her a poem. <gasps> I love you, Emer. <laughs> yes. The first line of every, the first letter of every line spelled out, I love you, Emer. <gasps> and I gave oh, her the poem. Yeah. <laughs> I gave oh, it to her. And I, I, I hope to fuck she never like re, like looked down the thing and realized she probably knew I loved her. And but she I, gave you like an A. Wow, you have really like mm. absorbed the concepts of fucking. Uh, nah, she 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 blew me. <laughs> nah, she didn't blow me. <laughs> <laughs> blew you off. But uh, food's almost here, boys. Oh, you, nice. You, um, you can't really brag about it. yeah. Emer blew me. She was hot though. Was she? Yeah, she As was a like a, yeah. Oh, okay. God, yeah. She was like a student teacher. She's like twenty two. Mm, she, she'd come in with like a, a thong. Like she knew what she was doing. She'd come in with a yeah. thong pulled up. Or above her like waist. a dress shirt and she couldn't yeah, like yeah. she was the asking last for it yeah she, she knew she was asking yeah. kind of asking for it yeah uh, sure tell me you want to run down and get the food come sure. do that sure. <laughs> how fucking slick this guy is at making other people doing for him <laughs> you want to fucking run down and get that food <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you other oh, guy yeah, the key, right uh, just take that and then Tom but just easily but anyway my down. point was that I used to do all these creative things mm. I used to write music I was in a band like I have I have EPs that have been released of yeah. all this shit that, and then it just stopped was the mountain the mis- no, stopping? no no because after the mountain thing I kept doing shit I kept like little bits here and there like really good sh- like really good and impressive stuff that I used to do sure. and I think what happened was I started making money Mm-hmm. So there was the the comfort of making decent money kind of took the fire away, took the drive mm-hmm. away. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think like when you look at... Which like, through your internet thing. So just to be clear, it's something completely separate yeah, yeah. to the artistic yeah, stuff that like you were business. doing. Yeah, the and business it, it stuff. took off, yeah. making lots of money, all that kind of thing. And I think you see that as well in the likes of, like just as a weird example, Adam Sandler. Right, sure. Like, go back and watch um, Happy Gilmore, or go back and watch uh, The Water Boy. Fucking mm. brilliant movies. You know, I haven't rewatched them in years. I'm, <laughs> maybe I'm nostalgic, but you know, he 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 got lots of money, and then he just started making shit movies because he didn't really care anymore. Sure. What happens when you the fire isn't yeah, under your right. ass anymore? So you get complacent, and that's you know like the reason why I kind of stopped doing stand up here because I just didn't. I don't need it, and I have to need it to to do it. You sure. But then what does that mean for you, Tim Reedy? Because you don't need... I mean, that could apply to anything. Stand-up, painting, well, you see, know, whatever you want to do. I started streaming on Twitch uh, two weeks ago. Okay. And I immediately started getting viewers mm-hmm. and followers and subscribers of just me talking shit. Yeah. And I started getting raids from other channels, like being raided by six, 700 people. And I felt bad, bad for those people ra- wasting their raids on me. By the way, because it's a waste. Because I, I, I don't have a schedule. I'm not like a dedicated streamer. Sure. So they're kind of wasting their their good fortune on me. But it it made me realize that yeah, I could if if I wanted to do it, mm. could easily do it. So what I'm waiting for is to hit rock bottom, Lewis. And when I hit rock bottom, then I'll. But you're not I'll going to with the money. I mean, I might do. I mean, Tim, I have known you for a number of years now. And you, at regular intervals, tell me that, oh, Google's taken away my money. Yeah. Oh, something's happening. Oh, the money. Yeah, but because I'm I'm resourceful and I make it work. Sure. But then, yeah, next month you're telling me, hey, things are great. Yeah. Bing, bing, bing. Let me order you things from Amazon. Don't worry about it. Oh, but it. I do that anyway. If I had no money, I'd still give you all my money. Sure. but <laughs> it, I, it would be zero money. Yeah, but well, you I'd have up and anyway. downs, though. You, you're gen- not, not to say, look, I'm not trying to say, I'm not questioning your generosity. No, no, no I know. Absolutely not. But certainly when the there's, money. There's no food, by the way. I just sent Tom out for the goof. <laughs> Also, if there's no he's fork, just, he's, he's just just meeting no fork. a black guy on the street <laughs> for no reason. Um, but no, look, look. Certainly, though, I can identify in you that well, look when things are going great, at the, like at most people, like any reasonable person would be. If things are going fine, I want to you know buy more, spend more, or help people more. And you, you know, naturally, where is Tom? But do we even let him back in? Oh, here he comes. What? Tomba doesn't have the food yet. Yeah. A method of contact. Yeah, he's well. He's not gonna call you. He's gonna call me. He's down there somewhere. Uh, black guy. <laughs> <laughs> so so sure. It's natural that you know if more money's coming in, then but that is somewhat fact. But here's another angle to it as well. Mm. Like the whole creativity, the whole 
doing shows, doing this, making short movies, all that, right. whatever. Okay. Because I my life is a performance. Like I do. Like when I'm mm-hmm. at home by myself, I'm talking to myself all the time. I am st- I'm speaking to an audience with and there's no audience there. Mm. I march around. I do characters. The Butter King comes out. All the fucking classics come out. New, uh, this Arab. Oh, Alhamdulillah. I'm walking around just preaching to a crowd that's not there. And that's enough for me. You know what I mean? You're happy with that? I'm happy with it. Okay. So when Dan is messaging me saying, Tim, do this. Or Johannes is constantly saying, dude, sign up. So here, he just links me to events and goes, mm-hmm. hey, sign up for this. I'm like, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need a crowd to go. <laughs> All right. So you happy? I with already yourself? have my crowd. But 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 then you you've been doing a little bit of Twitch streaming, and yeah. how do you feel about this new Twitch streaming you've been doing? I like doing it, but uh, as soon as like people pop up in the chat and talk to me, I'm like, oh fuck. Huh. I'm like, oh, I don't. Because even that that's to me what typifies Tim Reedy. That, and that's fine. You can do whatever you want with your potential. I'm not going to be like, oh, there's some potential that you're not you know using here. You are free to do whatever you want with your potential. Mm-hmm. But like when Louis Zezrin tries to stream, he's uptight, he's tense. He, you know, I, I, I stream shooters because I don't want to talk to anybody. Where you are so free and natural and you're just talking and you so easily pick a game that, you know, you can just talk mm-hmm. and, and be yourself and produce these characters and quirks of your personality and you do it so easily that I admire that mm-hmm. in you. Like I'm still uptight. I, I think part of the thing for me is I have this uptightness absolutely in me that will well, all, I mean, kind that, of always like, be in there. That whole natural character shit that mm-hmm. comes from like shit childhood stuff. Sure. You know? Not being raped or anything like that, but just like <laughs> Locking myself into my own head type right. of thing, talking to myself. Like a big part of it was my, my, I think I talked about this in one podcast before. I don't know what the fuck Tom is doing, by the way, because the bolt driver is fucking. He's nowhere. freaking out. He's, he, I will go back, he? but you yeah, must but, come now. Uh, like my mother used to work in um, a gas station around the corner from my housing estate. Mm. And she would come home from work at 11 o'clock every night. And I, w- I, w- I was always worried that she was going to get attacked on the way home. And she would drive home, by the way. She wouldn't walk home. So she's perfectly safe. Mm. But I would stand by the window and I would look at the reflection, just waiting for her car window to come home. Same with my dad. Like, Mm. I I would just worry, constant, worry constantly. And I've been told that it's bad for your health. You shouldn't worry all the time. But, like, in a way, I always felt like that I was some sort of guardian angel to these people who, Mm. you know, I was looking out for them. And, and whenever I would do that, I would spend hours just sitting there looking for the lights of my dad's car, my mom's car, just talking to myself in my head, just doing these things, t- keeping the brain taking over. So, like, I don't need to sit in front of a TV. Mm. I don't need to do anything. I can just sit in an empty room for hours. It's a very just, rare skill just, these days. Just stay in my head. And you don't, even when you have people who are engaging with you on Twitch, you know, it sounds mm-hmm. like a very nice platform for you, you know. It yeah. doesn't, you know, you still don't feel some inspiration for that. Or, or how do you feel after doing a bit of Twitch, you know, for a couple of weeks now? Uh, followers? Like, for me, it's not about the, the video game part of it. Like, mm. the video game is just, I, because <clears throat> here's the thing. When I'm just by myself and, fucking damn it. When I'm just by myself in an empty room just doing characters, yeah, sure. it's just easy and I can do it. Mm. As soon as I go live on Twitch, then you're like, oh, I I have to do this now. I'm on. Sure. I have to turn it on now. And then it feels a little bit forced. Mm. When it feels- I do feel like some of the best people who are Twitch or streamers or whatever you're doing live, they're the ones that don't seem to mind that they're going live. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel it as soon as you press record, you know, or stream or whatever, you're like, oh, I'm on and I got to mm-hmm. be on and I'm doing on and here I am. It's on. And that's some of these these people who are just regular normal people they're like oh okay it's on and yeah, yeah. all right they mm-hmm. don't seem to seem such a problem that it's on and okay so there's that little and i get that i totally super super get that oh it's on it's on oh my god there's one viewer i gotta talk to them or there's one person or yeah. or something where you'd almost be better off like just if you have a second screen with stream labs just turn it off turn it off just play right. the game and talk to the game right you know but then Indeed. you then you have the Johannes problem where he will have like 10 people in his stream talking mm. to him in chat and he won't be talking to them. 
Sure. And I'm watching his stream screaming, fucking, someone asked you Engage a question, you're honest, you gotta fucking, you know. So I don't know, I don't know. So there's multiple angles there. For me, I play shooters because in my genre, it's not expected that you're going to talk as much. Shooters, the bar, have a video game? Whoa. Hey, look at this guy. Oh, with I jokes. got cold. Okay, bro. Let's try and coordinate this. Where, where the Okay, so I the situation. Where, the Tim's is. doing his thing. So the situation is Tim has called uh, Vault, got some food. Hello? You heard this bit already. However, he has yeah, sent uh, Tumbert downstairs are you? Where are you? to go pick up the Vault. However, it seems that Tumbert has not been able to coordinate with the Vault driver. So now Tim is on the phone to the bolt driver. And we don't know where Tumbert is. Hmm. We're not quite sure where is the bolt driver is. Is there any like bars is. or restaurants near you? Because it's an it's an office building. Okay. Um yeah, I'll 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 be there in a sec. Okay, so now that's I'll fine. So now Tim is taking charge of the situation. Tim uh, is talking to the bolt driver. He's trying to find a place to meet him. The thing that Tim has just left here without taking a key, so I'm not exactly sure about how he's going to get back in. And now here I am in the studio. It's one hour, 45 minutes into this podcast, and I'm here in the studio all alone. Tom, but is God knows where. Tim is on a mission to find the bolt driver. And it's just me. It's good to be here. So this this studio that we're in, this is not the main comedy of Sonia studio. This is the second studio, which is the one that Tim has mostly financed. And this is the original office, the office that me and Marion uh, originally hired, I want to say like six, seven years ago. Seven years I've been sitting in this room. And uh, it was the first Comedy Estonia studio where we did a lot of me and Pekas Jankud and Tusi Suyad and Kulapod. And then, then we got the bigger room. And then we gave this room to the the micas to Stevan. But this is the original office. This is where we did it. We had a little desk in the middle. And here I am. They've all left. And it's just me. I hear Tim yelling. Coming back. It's a very deep topic, this thing about how do I feel about stand-up Tim, but very good Tom, but very good talking about how do I feel about stand-up. I love it. It is. It is that first girlfriend that you love, but it was never going to work out. You love because it was exciting and crazy, and but then later on you realize there's realities, and <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I have to now keep a solo podcast going. I probably could just cut it for a little while. Also, the gear is not as good as the studio. Oh my God, we've got these shitty little stands. But nevertheless, and I know Tim won't listen to this far in the podcast, but kudos, kudos to Tim because um, in this studio, I know there's, as we talked about, there's the podcast with uh, Tauri and Steven and Tumbert. And uh, there's other, this is like the second studio. It's all paid for by Tim. Tim paid for everything. He just rented the studio, bought all the gear, got us, got the microphone so those three idiots could do a podcast. And that story is a very uh, good example and very normal of what, Tim Reedy has contributed to us over the years. And if you listen to this podcast, you probably know a bit about Tim. He he helps. He's a helper. And Tim has helped by paying for a lot of our shit over the years. Hmm. And uh, I, I give a lot of credit to Tim. He's got this studio for these guys. You know, now some people know who Tambut is. Some people know who Tawari is. And Stevan is, and that's what we want. That's great. We're making comedians. We're making careers for these guys. And certainly, we could not afford to have two studios without the help of Tim. Oh, this room. All right. I'm going to take a little break. Take a little pee break. And by the time we come back, we may have had burgers... Tom, but 
maybe an astronaut launched into outer space. I'm not entirely sure. But um, thanks for listening this far. Thanks for thanks for being into the crazy shit that we do. We'll have a little break, and uh, me and Tumbert and Tim will be back after that. Thank you. Oh, hey! What so what? Uh, so wait, what the fuck just happened? Hey, Food was ordered. So the guy, this is Telescopy sixty. Sure. But he was way over by uh, Baltian Turk. No, oh, okay. Way over there, so we had, we had to find him first. And then uh, I looked in the bag and there was no forks, and you got to eat the, f- the chili fries with a fork. So we went to the shawarma place and asked, could we get some forks? Charge was 50 cents a fork. Ooh. And he was like, you know, 50 cents. I was like, can I pay with a card? No, it's no, it's 50 cents. I was like, okay, I don't have any change on me. Tim, do you have any change? And Tim was like, can I like put it on the card? Oh, yes, you can put it on the card. What? <laughs> <laughs> I offered to like buy a Coke. I'm like, I can just I'll get a drink. and said, yes. No, 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 bro. I said, bro, we are fellow Arab. Come to the live preview. So what do we get? We got a butter burger we're going to try and right. the chili fries we're going to try and anything else or that's it? Well, that's it. That's what you the, didn't... The fork stuff, but also... This is so try. typical, Tim. He doesn't order food for himself, but Because I, I can't eat. What, what Why? You, what do you mean? Because can't? then I have to stop drinking. It's a choice. Oh, know? like the, you know, stomach mm. fullness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, it's I, a get choice. I have I to get choose. That. You know? yeah. So, Lewis, you're going to grab the butter burger. Okay. That butter's long since melted. This will be an interesting one. Okay. Beetle burger, uh, butter burger. And Tom, but buddy, ooh, take one of these 50 cent forks. Look at this shit. Look at this, Tom, but this is some sort of. That is buttery. And that I, is I, beautiful, bro. I can, I, can, I can smell the butter coalescing. Butter has a smell? Yeah. Does it? Yeah, of course. Mmm. This, this is the these fucking chili fries are they? Shit. They're going to like destroy my mouth. Oh, you know? bro! Mm. No, no, they're they're not spicy. Maybe people can. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Shout Video out to Viru Burger. Uh, sp- uh, uh, this podcast is brought to you by Viru Burger. Shout shout out to the um, bolt driver who was miles off, <laughs> who was uh, dripping with incompetence. <laughs> okay, so what what um 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 what. Uh, Ethnicity was he? He was a white Estonian man. Mm. Oh, you see, okay. if it was a black guy, he'd mm. know. Possibly Russian, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Maybe. So fucking Estonian wants to blame. I'd read his Russian. name out on the air, but I mean, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> was it a Russian name? No, I, I didn't look at the name. I don't know. Oh. But I will find out, bro. Mm. Damn, this burger is pretty good. It's good, right? Pretty fucking good. Yeah. Right. Like, Okay, now, to be fair, it's drenched in butter, so for fuck's drenched sake. Drenched in butter, yeah. got onions. If it's, sh- if it's shitty and drenched in butter, then we have a problem. Whoa, it's not giving me his name? Fucking Oh, no. I want to know names. Names, names. Oh, Ki- Ki- Kirill. Yeah, he's, he's Russian. Is he? Mm-hmm. Kirill? Kirill is... Uh, is it? Like Kirillitz is like the Russian alphabet. Is it? Yeah. Cyrillic. And, like and Cyrillic. Yeah, okay. Cyrillic, yeah. And, so his parents and, named uh, him after the alphabet. No, like the, like the guy who created the alphabet, Kirill. Oh, right. Cyril, C- 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 I guess. There yeah. was a guy who made the alphabet in Russian? Yeah. No shit. Fuck it. With, with another guy, but only he gets the credit, apparently. Disgraceful. 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 Anyway, Kirill, if you're out there, you did a bad job, buddy. But it's all right. We all make mistakes. Blame the app. I don't blame you. The app took him in the wrong direction. Anyway, Lewis, give me your play-by-play. What are you feeling about the burger? How okay. do you feel about it? There's a lot of cheese. It's very nice. Double... Double patty here. The onions make a big difference, and um, the the butter that is melted in. It just looks like when you open it up, it like it looks like a dirty burger. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. oh yeah, this is all melted. You dirty you. Because that's the the, the raging debate online. If you go to Er uh, on Reddit, uh-huh. mm. the debate is Viljandi burger or Vidu burger, which oh. is the best, and they go back and forth. So it's like, what do you think? Okay, okay. I want to marry. I want to marry. Vidalburger. I want to marry Viliandi Burger. You just want to fuck that though. But I want to fuck the shit yeah. out of Burger. Oh, you haven't tried the chili fries yet though. The chili fries are just. Grab one of these fucking 500 euro forks. Yeah. Because we got scammed, bro. 500 euro forks. By our fellow Islamic brethren mm-hmm. from Azerbaijan. Okay, we've got this. So what um, that is, is chili fries, okay. It's fries with minced beef, uh, mm, banana wow. peppers, which I didn't think you could get banana peppers in this country, but there they are. Mm. Anyway. What are, banana peppers? Yeah, it's like a, a genus of pepper. 
I'm full of tricks, aren't I? <laughs> Banana peppers, they're not spicy. They're they are they are like fruity. Slightly tingy. Yeah. yeah. This so, is great. Yeah. This is Fantastic, good. Yeah. How does how does Sandriguez feel? That he's I the, don't think he's had one. The be all and end all of a stunning food. Sandriguez has not had a Vito burger. Mm. I'll tell you what. I don't believe that. He, he would not approve of that one. Why? 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 Because Sander likes. Uh, well, it depends. If he's pissed drunk and high as a kite, of course, <laughs> it's the greatest thing on the face of the earth. But Sander likes a tighter burger. He likes mm. a a burger with structure. That ain't got no structure. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a mess. He'd like a the with some efficiency. Yeah, he'd like the uh, the non butter burger probably. You know. Yeah, he he does like. Um, the billion, the like compactness of yeah, it. Yeah. I have eaten one with him. Have you? Yeah. Good stuff. And we, and we also got a free smoothie because he's San Diego, and I, I was there with him, so they had to make two smoothies. Really? Oh. Yeah. So I got a free smoothie, and uh, Wait, was it like the Louis C.K. Uh, uh, story he has, where he went, he went with um, Chris Rock. They did a movie together, I think, and they went to some sh uh, clothes shop, and the women were like, "Oh." Could you do you want this jacket, Chris? We would have it. We have it in your size. He was like, "Nah, I'm okay." And Louis C.K. was with him, so we went like, uh, "Can I have the jacket?" <laughs> and they were like, "Okay," because <laughs> they didn't want to look bad. Was that you? Your free smoothie? No, I was like, "This is like, can we do like a story? Uh, it will give you a free smoothie." And it was like a really banging ass smoothie. So, but I, so but I think like influencer style. Yeah, I, I think they like put like extra stuff in it to make it like better than usual. Just sprinkle crack in it. Yeah. Why would they not put that in on. every smoothie? What <laughs> what expensive stuff are they uh, putting in? To be in? fair to Villiani Burger. They're really creamier, I guess. So. They're, they're, they're a lovely bunch of lads. They are great. And uh, they, they, just, they just do it right. Mm. And my, my favorite thing about them is that they give the finger to tomatoes and burgers. That's just quintessential. Because tomatoes are shit. They're mushy. By the time you, you eat the burger, it's just fucking... It's just shit. It's mushy crap. So fuck tomatoes. I am done with tomatoes. You are. You have finished. Yeah. Yeah. Boycott tomatoes. Mm. Okay. See, Tim's got these issues with tomatoes. Well, I've got issues with food in general. This is very obvious to everyone. <laughs> so what? What other food do you hate? Broccoli. Mm. Malt broccoli. broccoli yeah. Because yeah. Brussels uh, sprouts are horrible. Yeah, Brussels sprouts are never good. Yeah. Like like a nice. They're never like a nice. They're all sort of like a bitter after. What are you guys like fucking nine? They're Brussels sprouts. Eat them. Who cares? Like, yeah, but you still. Like I mean, I still eat them, but then, but it's not like wow. I love mushrooms, and I don't know many other people who do. It breaks my fucking heart. Hmm. Mushrooms, mushrooms are great. Good. What's the problem? Tauri hates them. James hates them. Hmm. Those fucking guys are retarded. Yeah, 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 but you guys also hate fish. Hmm. Well, it depends. What? Greasy what? fish and chips, in fucking yeah, in like, fucking Oban. Fish and chip doesn't 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 count. It's fish. <laughs> yeah, it, sure it, doesn't count. it used to be fish. <laughs> I tell you what, though, I've had crab and I've had lobster, and I don't get it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, lobster is amazing. I I can't tell the difference between a crab and lobster. Isn't lobster like ninety percent like effort and ten percent? Sure. I had a. I, I we went for lobster when I was eighteen. I went on 16. Either one of those two, because we lived in a. You were a 18. Small... She was 16. Hey. hey, hey. In a small fishing town in Australia, and so the big thing for my birthday was to go to a nice restaurant where they serve lobster, and we got the we knew the fresh lobster was coming from the, and yeah, you got to crack that fucking shell open and get in that, and there's little bits and pieces, but look, no one no one walks away from a lobster meal going like, oh, I'm so full, I'm stuffed yeah, yeah. full of lobster. I mean, that's a rich cunt for sure, but not. Hmm. I had three lobster. I'm full. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah, no I one's know. ever done that before, but yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, it's a delicacy. I don't hate fish, but like you I was traumatized. Hate... Well, because my dad used to take me macro fishing. But you and hate sushi. I've never, I've never even eaten sushi. Did a Why? fish touch you? What is that? I was raped by fish. By fish. It's all coming out. This is where the creativity went. This is where. Because <laughs> <laughs> of anti. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like uh, my dad used to catch mackerel, and then he just put the whole fish. In a, in a hot pan with no oil mm. and the smell of burning fish would fill the house mm. and it's just traumatizing. Is that the way your dad cooked fish? Like he just, some Straight traditional up, thing or something? Eyes, brains, guts. Why did he do it like that way? Did he feel a traditional that's, way? That's how his mother did it. That's so I guess, okay. uh, you know, I yeah. mean, you know, that's, that's it. You know? Yeah, sometimes tradition doesn't work out. <laughs> no, no. But sometimes it does, like black pudding. Mm. Have I told you about black pudding? <laughs> 
We're bringing it around. Full circle. Anyway, what's your what's your re- review, Lewis? Tremendous. Vera Berger, look, Villian de Berger has set a high standard. If you're trying to, it's a crowded burger market in Thailand right now. Sure There's is. a lot of decent burgers. And if you're going to come along, you don't want to just be another Kimmy, Jimmy, and Poindexter. You've got to bring the heat. And Vera Berger is bringing the heat. They sure are. Not bad. They really are cooking their burgers, man. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. And one other thing about Villian de Berger, they come fast. Now, to be fair, Coming fast is n- not always a good thing. Hey. Sometimes you want the woman to have a bit of pleasure. You know hey. what I mean? Sometimes. You look at this guy. But if it wasn't for that, frankly, should be fired by a bolt delivery driver, it would have come like 15 minutes earlier. So yeah. they're fast. Oh, it's still very good. Yeah. I'm still happy with it. So so how many uh, how many thumbs up you give? Well, One, two? 17 he, thumbs he up. He was a very lackadaisical delivery man. He was, yeah. We could have been anyone. He didn't give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> he, didn't ch- he, he didn't say like, Tim, you just gave mm. me the food. So, oh yeah, like some people approaching me. Yeah, fuck it. Just <laughs> yeah. No one cares just, anymore. You just, could steal, if you want free food, just go to any restaurant and just take a brown bag. Yeah, yeah. Nobody asks you. It's just take it and go. And another thing as well, the you have all these grocery stores now. You've got Foodbit and you have Bloom on on the Bolt app who will deliver alcohol to your house. Mm. They're supposed to check your ID. Yeah, but they don't. Lately, or they used to. Lately, mm. they've just been leaving it at my door and just going, whatever, five-year-old sure. kid ordered fucking. Yeah, might have COVID. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, just well, take, like, more, if yeah. you're, a, the thing is, I guess, if you need food and you, you're down in your luck, you just have to look, look the part. That's the problem. Maybe if you're down in your luck, you don't look the part. You just have to look the part, walk in, take a brown bag, walk out. It's like the whole, like, just carry a clipboard everywhere you go. Right. Or, or wear a high-vis vest. High-vis vest, you can do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Steal a bike, take a car. Or put the hazard lights on. I, I remember uh, I, I had to fucking go to the pharmacy late one night. I just drove around the pedestrian barriers and just parked in front of the pharmacy, put the hazard lights on. Hey, hey, hey. My, it's my park anywhere lights. <laughs> Tom, but what's your uh, how do you think of the fries? Mm. They're very good. Yeah. They're like really good. I, mean, I don't know. I might be just be like incredibly hungry. But <laughs> do you hear me, Vero Burger? I fucking gave you clout. Give me free yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah. I'll wear your hat and your t-shirt. Get a better bolt driver. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the chili fries, they're like they're like the right amount of spicy for me. Mm. They're not like. Um, they're not like overbearing spicy. They're just kind of like a, like a tinge. They're kind of like hinting at. As the uh, uh, Bangladeshi guy who works in New Face says, uh, they're Estonian spicy. <laughs> not Bangladeshi spicy. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, Bangladeshi, they have to have it spicy. So, you know. So if they can taste something. So they can feel something, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should fun. we wrap it up? Yeah, let's wrap it up. I was going to say, let's wrap it up. Thank you very much for... in indulging us in this drunken food rant yeah for this good time good. it was good what a lovely friday it was good crack yeah. thank you tim it's friday is it yeah oh, it shit. is thank you tom but he wouldn't <laughs> yeah. know who the fuck this I, f- I finished work so you know yeah finish finish you're done you quit for this week okay <laughs> no. cool. he quit and he's gonna come <laughs> I back fucking next quit. Week. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go back yeah, yeah. all right thank you very much Thanks for listening bye-bye thank you everyone for watching bye-bye Viru burger. Bilandia as well <laughs>